Hello everyone and welcome back. If you missed it, this is video two in our live stream series for Marvel Crisis Protocol from Atomic Mass Games. Last game we played just characters fighting it out. Just the basics. So in this game we're adding crisis cards and tactic cards which take the, the game to the next level. We're also adding some models to our teams because we started with just two characters each. Uh, and so we'll be breaking down how to kind of set that stuff up at the first of the game and showing off how they how they actually function. So I'm going to start off with the setting up the game section of the rule book, which is probably a good place to start for this. Um, first of all, you establish the battlefield, and it's usually played on a three foot by three foot. We've got the essentially the Royal Rumble mat here that's about two by two uh, because it's easier for the camera, and I think it just helps us get engaged quickly so that we can get right to the action. Um, I also kind of like it. I mean, with five, it would be crowded, but it yeah. also is kind of a nice total just brawl in the middle, which is pretty <laughs> cool. Um, then you create the mission, and so uh, these are the mission cards. I've got uh, a number here with red, and then you've got a number here with blue. They're, these are extraction cards here that I have, and so this is generally trying to extract things from the map, and what do you have? Objective control, probably? Uh, secure? Secure. Yeah, so, so basically go get something and bring it out, or go secure the checkpoint, basically. That's right. So it tells us in the rule book to take the riot spark over extremis, and the struggle for the cube continues. I have the first one of those. cards, And I've got the struggle for the cube there. Uh, grab them, place them next to the battlefield in easy view of both players, then set up the mission by following the setup instructions on both cards. Refer to the setup diagram if you have any questions. It's really cool. So let's start with uh, struggle for the cube continues. Place five cosmic uh, cube fragments, as shown on map F. There's map, map F. F. What's a cube fragment? It is this, I believe. Yeah, that looks like a fragment. Yeah. Somebody's holding something. And there's five of them. Okay, here we go. Let's get our miniatures game on. So what's the... Okay, okay. so it's basically a star, right? So one goes in the middle. There's like yeah. a... There's five, right? There's all sorts of diagramming that you can do here, too. It's like a five, four. Since we're not on a three by three, it... So you would like put these together to establish your midpoint, and then yeah. there's a middle one. I like that, like right in the dumpster area. The yeah, dumpster right zone. there in the middle. And then it's basically just corners, right? So like I'm gonna do this, this. Yeah. Let's go a little further, actually. It's four. It's technically a four out. So let's just downscale that for a three. So let's do um, three out. So that's that one. Give me one over here. Three by three. Ding ding ding. Nice. Let's just do it. Let's put it on the car. Uh, here's a three. I'll come through this and way. And a three. Yeah, that's a spidey one. <laughs> <laughs> three and three. So, like, yeah, about there. All right, so we got our fragments. All right, fragments are set up. And then we do your um, sparks right over spark. extremists. Set up. Place four extremist consoles. So I'm going to guess that the console. Oh, uh, this is definitely a. Sh that's the shard, right? I did that incorrectly. You think so? No, look at this. This is the little... What look. is this? Look at Red Skull holding that cube. Uh, That's got to be the uh, cube fragment. It's all right, extremist hand. consoles. I'm going to go with a phone on this one. Oh. Uh, target of opportunity as shown on map D. Map D might, yeah. It's on so the... it's basically a circle. So it's in between all the ones we just placed. Five, like this. four, three. Man, this diagram is actually awesome. It's three from the edge, basically, is the idea here. So if you if you look at them in relation here. to the objectives we just placed, if you hand me that one. Yeah, yeah, it's like in the in the gaps, basically. Yeah, so I just put them. Yeah, that makes sense. In the gaps. Yep. This close quarters is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, look at uh, this. We're so, playing some yeah, connect four, some that's bingo right. here. So let's uh, the scoring on this one is that players score one victory point for each extremist console they secure during the cleanup phase. So secure, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if I have a model within one of it, which is the width of one of these templates, um, and I'm and you don't have any, then I have secured it. B or B. Or no, you have to take an action or something. Tell me more You rules. don't. That is specifically, it's in this thing here. Interacting Com with an objective is not an Bam. action. Boom. Covered it. We did it. Okay, um, there are three types of objective tokens. So let me, just, let me just read for everybody out there the dulcet tones of rules from me. Rules, Willie. Some crisis cards involve characters interacting with objectives. If a crisis card allows characters to interact, it will include an interactability in its special rules. Do we have any of those interactabilities? Interact extremist console. Remove one damage from a non-dazed character within two of the extremist console. And then I have pick up a cosmic cube fragment. 
And then I also have during the power phase, each character suffers one damage for each cosmic cube fragment it holds. Characters gain power equal to the damage they suffered. So you're hurting yourself to gain power. That makes a lot of sense. At any time during a character's activation, while within range one of an objective, the character may spend one power, not an action, to interact with that token. Character may interact with multiple tokens in the same activation, but can't interact with the same token more than once. Okay. What happens when a character interacts with an objective token is listed in the special rules, mm -hmm. as we just did. There are three types of objective tokens. Civilians, which we don't have any of. Tell me more. Asset tokens, which represent the key items in the universe. And target of opportunity tokens, which I believe these are. Does it tell us what they are um, in the moment? It doesn't. It doesn't like say mm -hmm. it directly. Um, it could be a secret entrance, et cetera, et cetera. All right, this is relevant for the cubes. Some rules allow characters to pick up objective tokens. A character that picks up an objective token is holding that token. So I can interact, so I spend one power and I pick up a cosmic cube fragment. Got you. Place it on the character stat card. When a character holding one or more objective tokens is dazed or knocked out, they drop all objective tokens they were holding. Place them onto the battlefield within two of the character that was holding them, and the player who knocks me out gets to decide where they scatter. Nice. So that's uh, very nice. So basically the extract ones, which are these cubes, we can go pick up. We can pick up the cubes, yes. And, and we, we can only interact and control these points. Yeah, you can't move those. Those are where those are. They don't have a size stat. They don't obstruct a character's movement. And you can overlap them freely. Cool. So they are nothing on the board. A character that is within range one of an objective token is contesting it. This is cool. I like this part. The player with the most healthy token or healthy characters contesting an objective is securing that token. Oh, nice. If there are no healthy characters contesting, the player with the most injured characters contesting it secures it instead. A character with a dazed token cannot contest objective tokens. So the cool thing there is if you have four injured things around a thing and I have one healthy thing, I control it. Yeah. Isn't that cool? But I can beat you up. You can. You can, you can certainly get there. And then finally, some crisis cards allow players to control certain objectives, such as switches or power conduits. Do we have any of those? Any control? Players this is the control, yeah. For each, uh, they secure yeah. during the cleanup phase. So all we have to do is secure it. We don't have to actually control it. Cool. When a player controls an objective, place a token showing they're controlling it. It removes any other player's control token. So basically, there's an on-off switch that is, I control this, then you can come up and switch control to you, switch control to you, et cetera. There's only one controlling player at any moment. OK. I think that's it. OK. So what's the next part of the setup? Next part of the setup. Yeah. <laughs> Back, Back to the By the, the way, uh, there's a comment <laughs> that I think is hilarious. More is like about my dulcet tones? No, more like Stephen Rooley instead of Wooley. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I can't believe I've never made that pun. Uh, that's, uh, that is comedy. All right, where was I? Setting up the game. Yep. That's uh, something about our characters and crisis cards and stuff. Or tactic cards. You know, the interesting thing, I, I'm not explicitly told how to set up a game that is not the exact scenario that we're playing. I wonder if that would be like an organized play thing. It might change every time. There's also probably a rules reference guide. If I had to guess, I we, we don't have one. it. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> Okay, then we pr assemble our squads. So one player takes the stat cards and miniatures for a number of things, and we're just going to make this work. So with our squads, basically, we evened it out. So we noticed last time that you had Crossbones and Baron Zemo, which is six points, and I had Spider-Man and Captain America, which was eight. So, so why don't you add one and I'll add one? I'm adding Black Widow. She's only two points, so that puts me at ten. And I'll add Ultron. So that's ten as well. Great. That's awesome. So now we're even. Um, and then we also, uh, looking technically on the, uh, these cards here, whatever mm -hmm. these are called, Christ cards, um, they have a 17 in the top middle, which is how many points that you get to play with. We're only playing with 10. So, so we can play with 34, technically. Is that true? No, no, no. You don't add them together? It's one or the other. Oh. Yeah. And so I forget how they decide it, but one of us gets to choose who, which one. Like, if they're, they're all 17 in the core box. But if there was, like, a 13 at some point, and a 20, like one of us chooses which okay, one is that, happening. OK, that makes it easier. Nice. Um, then we prepare our team tactic hands. The player with, uh, so we chose four team tactics, not exactly the ones from the rule book. I chose Age of Ultron instead of the Red Skull one, because I'm using Ultron. I chose Avengers Assemble instead of Ricochet, because I don't have Iron Man. And then let's show um, Age of Ultron. Are we up on Age of Ultron? So this is, says reactive. If Ultron is knocked out, he may spend eight power to play this card before removing the miniature from the battle. 
Ultron is not removed. Instead, he removes all special conditions, flips to healthy, removes all damage, drops all objective tokens, and maybe places it in three of his current location. If I have eight power, I go from injured to KO'd to healthy. Yep. That's incredible. And what's his health stat? Six. His health so is six. So how does he get to eight? And then five. You can have power oh, among for anybody. Days. No, well, maybe. He may spend eight. I mean, I can keep stacking power. I can get six from the first side and then five oh, more from the second. I can strike and get, like, yeah. 20 power. And so one of the interesting things about these hands, actually, if you look at the back of the cards, they have their name and the full art on them. And that's because... Incredible art. Yeah, the art on these cards is, like you were saying this before the stream, one of the best things that we've seen in the game. Like, look at this Avengers symbol. Tell me that's not awesome. Yeah, here. I don't think we scanned in the backs, did we? Check this out. Look at that. Okay, hold on. How does cameras work? Yep. Let's get the focus. Oh, yeah, Jonathan. Get in <laughs> Getting there. Getting the work done. Look at that. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Look That's at that. cool. Captain oh, Winter Soldier. Gosh. It takes me right back to those binders of comic book cards that I had. Those but superhero cards. Presumably, right? It's like, I know that that's the case about Ultron. So, mm -hmm. really. It's right here. You to, can see it. To me, you having that is basically if he has eight power on his KO side, or his, uh, what's the injured side called? Injured. Injured? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Uh, on his injured side, right, like, I'm not going to knock him out because you could going to spend your energy and go back to, to right. normal mode, right? right. Um, so that's we, a really, just me knowing you have that is very powerful. It speaks to the, the way the game functions where it's just like knocking things out is not the goal. Not I mean, at all. It's all about these objectives. Yeah. So, and then typically I think the hands of these are eight. It only says four each in this one in hmm. setting up the game. You're only supposed to take four. That's what I mean. It's kind of awkward because I don't actually have a... Let me make sure that it doesn't tell me that for sure. Um, so team tactic cards are special team-up powers or cinematic events. Whether it's a teammate rushing to pull a friend out of harm's way or Red Skull using the power of the Cosmic Cube, they greatly affect uh, the game and they usually cost power to use. Uh, they're part of your roster and are chosen during squad building. That's what I've got. Um, to play a team tactic card, you play it. A player follows the instructions hmm. and does it. Um, so they're not secret during the game. We know that. And that's that. So we've got our team tactics, and we'll move on to the last, uh, more than last, deploy characters. Each player places their characters, and in this case it says in the approximate position shown on the setup diagram. I would like to know how to do it normally. You want to just throw them on there? Sure. What do we do within like one of the thing or on the edge of the map? What do you want to do? Um, let's start at the edge because we're in a small. Yeah, let's do that. Small boy. You want to? I'll start over here. Yeah, or we can do like a. Here, why don't we do like a crossing within a within a I don't let's just let's put him on the board. Um, here's an Ultron. He's gonna be over here. Hey, Brendan. Yeah, we're definitely reading the uh, YouTube chat. He's saying the rules are online if people want to see them. Yeah, which is true. I'm gonna keep my boys here. They they rode together, ride together, die together on crossbones and Baron. I'm gonna do what Spider Man. I feel like starting next to an objective is unfair. Yeah, but we all are. Yeah, I mean. it's just the nature of our board here. Yeah. Mm, I feel like Cap wants to go get some of Ultron. And uh, old Natasha doesn't want none. <laughs> Natasha doesn't want none. How do you feel about that? That's fine. I'm into that. Uh, then we set out supplies, all of our range rulers, tokens, etc. I'd like that that's a specific step. Uh, this is cool. So you know, you have eight tactic cards you bring to the game, but just like with the heroes, you cut down to five for five. the game. So you have eight that you could choose from when you're right. building, and then you cut down to five. But this is like the intro okay. style game, so we're good. We're on four. And then assign priority. And do you want to just flip for that? <laughs> sure. Here's a... There they're you go. all the same. Look, I have a cap shield and a, a Hydra logo. Okay. So if it's Hydra, it's you, of course. Yeah. 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 Hail Hydra. Priority is mine. You've fallen into my plan. And now we start playing. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to take a second and let's pull up um, Ultron onto the... The character we haven't covered yet. Screen of vision, yeah, the, the actual... Uh, New and improved, thanks for the feedback. All right, so let's just run this car down. Everyone can see that, I assume, but probably better, yeah? Well, Great. not about 20 seconds if they can see it or not. So I've got the standard strike, and it's only four attacks. So it's actually a fairly weak standard strike. But then I've got an energy blast for zero power as well, which is where the money is. Uh, it's a four range, five attack, and it says after it's resolved, the character gains power equal to the damage dealt. So this wow. is my real deal, like, 
I'm going to be doing that constantly. Yeah, it's also energy. So, like, we noticed last time Crossbones has a weaker energy defense. Um, yeah, Black Widow can get wrecked by energy. Over yeah, so that's defense. why she started on the opposite side of Ultron. Then we have Metallic Fury. Three range, seven dice, three power. What? Before choosing a target, this character may choose whether it's a physical or energy attack, which is tight. And then it's got a bleed effect on the wild. Then we've got okay. a couple of special powers, Analyze and Annihilate. During the next attack this character makes, when resolving criticals, roll an additional die for each critical in the opposing defense roll. Nice. So I match your crits for You get your offense. crits and you get my crits. That's very cool. Wow. Kinetic Field Generator, I can choose an interactive terrain of th size 3 or less within 3 and throw it a medium distance, which is very nice. Then I've got two forever ones. All will be metal when defending against psionic attacks. Count each wild in the defense as two successes. Okay. So I'm ex you know, very good against psychic stuff because I'm essentially a robot, a metal guy. And then I have flight, which means I can you know, m move on to buildings and stuff without taking the climb action. And I'm immune to bleeding and poison. So Baron would have a tough he time has no chopping blood. me up. Or, yeah. So it's hard for him to be... Makes a lot of Can you run down Black Widow for yeah. me so uh, I know what I'm getting into? Bring up Black Widow. So she's got a um, four stamina. She's got she's a long-range mover, so she's fast. Um, and then she has strike, but she only rolls four dice. She gains yeah. energy for all that, but it has a wild called, called Widow's Sting. Ooh, nice. After the stack is resolved, the target loses one energy. Ooh, that's great. Yep. She's great. She's also got a pistol. Mm. Uh, it's... Three range with four dice, zero energy. That's physical. Also, her strike is energy, not oh, physical. Wow. I just noticed that. So watch out, crossbones. Yep. And then she's also got mixed technique, which costs two energy, and it's four four dice range two. If this attack deals damage after this attack is resolved, the target character gains the stagger special condition. Stagger. Staggering. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't know what it up. is. Uh, while you're doing that, she also has a wild on that called elusive. After this attack is resolved, this character may advance with a small template. Stagger. When the character activates, its first action must be shake. To yeah, remove the stagger. That's, that's really good. Yeah. It's like I do that and I bounce away and then you have to shake and then you can't hit me. Uh, so her other stuff, she has a superpower counter-strike after an attack against this character. It costs two, by the way. It is resolved. It may use the superpower. If the attacker is within three, roll four dice. Deal a damage to the attacker for each crit and wild rolled this way. So it's an auto, I can just ping you back something within three when she gets hit. What was that called? Counter-Strike. That's the same thing Baron has. Yeah. So that's good to know. I didn't, I didn't know if we would be sharing abilities. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, martial Artist. I don't know if you have this one or not. No. When this character is defending Probably against genius, a physical right? or energy attack targeting it from within range two, this character adds blanks to his defense roll's successes. Black Widow is great. Yep. That's a fantastic character. Also, she has stealth. Characters must be within three of this character to target it with attacks. So she's a bad match for Ultron, basically. So you can't shoot her from outside range three, and then if you're in range two, her blanks are added to her defense. So she's got a sweet spot that you want to be inside three but outside two. Yeah. If you have a three range attack. You want to be... Can't, does that even work? Where's yeah. the three? Do you have a three template somewhere? Yeah, it's somewhere. <laughs> it's gone. It's, where is it? <laughs> I feel like it's going to be right under my nose, and I'm not going to know it. Hold on. It's right here. Okay. <laughs> It's strange. So basically, oh, it's a three and a two. My bad. Yeah, same difference. I think. So this is the this is the the spot right here. That's where you want to be against Black Widow. Yeah. Good luck. You get you get those tactics for free. Everybody on stream, you just remember yep. that. Yeah. That was a, a bonus. That's a free one. You get a free one. Um, okay. Are we ready to do this? I've got priority. Uh, so I guess I've got to choose to go first. Now, we got to keep in mind our... You want to use these to track score? You can be the blue one, I'll be the yellow one. Yeah. I think that's how it's supposed to work. Um, I'm, let me be the yellow one. I think blue is a, a color of you know, heroes. Like, you're all blue and stuff, and I feel like I'm more yellow in the, right. in the mix. I don't know. That's it's because you're damaged. Untrue. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel more blue now? Do I? Does it tell me I'm on my injured side anywhere? You just look at him. <laughs> Would you look at him? Yeah, there's yeah, some red, the red back. Yeah, okay, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. I like these little baubles on the Ultron art. Very comic booky. These things. Okay, tell me again. Yep. So score one victory point for each fragment during the cleanup phase. So okay. you pick up the fragments and you score for holding them. And I can hold it all game. But they also damage you. 
and then one VP for each extremist console I secure. Now I don't have to interact with it to secure it. If I'm within one and I'm the healthy boy and there's no other contesting things, then I'm... You can also interact with this if you're within one to remove a damage from a non-dazed character. Yeah, which is cool. Character. And it doesn't, and it costs a power, right? So a power to interact to remove a damage. I could keep Wait, is it a power to interact? Yes. Uh, just it's period. not an action. That's Got one it. thing that is 100%. Yep. It's not an action. It's not an action to interact. It's on the back of the rule book. Is Interacting it, is it is not on the back of the rule book? All right, cool. <laughs> you ready to do this? You're first. <clears throat> I feel like we can drill those two rules. We'll have done a service so to the This is classic uh, miniature game, and I'm curious once we actually do get to a 3x3 three three, how it's going to feel. But a lot of times these first turns are kind of like, move. I'm just going to walk up and beam you. Come and get it. All right, so I, I need to look at... Bryce, let's do the... Um, Let's do the uh, crisis cards or the team tactic cards because uh, I feel like these are really relevant to how this game's going to go. So trip up is the one that I'll start with. So when an allied character targets an enemy character, the target character is within two of another ally. The allied character may spend one each to play this card. So basically if we're together and we're attacking, get ready to get tripped up. <laughs> if the target character is dealt damage by that attack, it suffers stun and stagger. Crossbones and Baron, the sole role of this entire game is to make that happen. I just want to tell you that. Okay. Sucker is the next one. Uh, when two allied characters are within three of the same injured enemy character, they can both spend any amount of power to play this card. The enemy character loses power equal to the total amount spent. So I can suck the energy off of an uh, injured character because of Sucker. That's how that works. And then one-two punch. When the active character targets an enemy character with an attack, and the target is within two of another ally character. So same, I see a template. Same template as trip up. Um, every, each spends one power, and we add two dice to the attack roll. So that's pretty good. Things you need to know. If there are two things within essentially two of your uh, character, I can either add two dice, or I can try to trip you up and give you a bunch of conditions. Ultron can resurrect. And then Sucker, I can take the power from your uh, injured, injured people. Yeah. These don't take actions? No. Unless they say? Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Uh, so here's what I can do. Ready for this? Tell Aven me. Avengers Assemble. Uh, <laughs> Captain Jabimbo. <laughs> Captain Jabimbo. <laughs> Anyways, any number of my Avengers, which is all my characters, can spend an energy, and any of them that do can move small when I play it. So uh, they could all literally just move. Cool. Pretty good. Buyer beware. Patch up. Unaffiliated, choose a non-dazed allied character. Another allied character within range two of the chosen character can spend up to five energy to play this card. Whoa. So an, one of my non-dazed characters can let someone within two spend up to five energy, and they remove a damage from the chosen character equal to the energy spent. Oh, man. Can I take that, or is that a hero only? Unaffiliated. Man, I'm going to be old sponge crossbones. <laughs> this is like my, my You role. can't kill me. Uh, brace for impact, unaffiliated, reactive. If one or more allied characters would suffer a collision, they can spend each spend one energy to play this card. Characters that spent energy do not suffer damage from this collision. Okay, brace that's for easy. Impact. Yeah. Uh, and then disarm. I like this one. When two allied characters are within range three of the same... What's it called? Disarm. Disarm. When two allied characters are within range three of the same enemy character, the allied that's characters easy. may spend one energy each to play this card. You stagger me. The enemy character rolls two fewer dice on all attacks this round. Ah. To a minimum of one. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Well, now here's the question. Uh, yep. A player who activates a character may take actions, use superpowers, and interact with objectives. So my question is, can I play team tactic cards on your turn? That's the question I have. I'm going to look at my rules. I don't know. So I feel like that's relevant, because like if you had that thing while I'm going, then that would make a lot of sense. Yep. Uh, okay, you can use during the game. Uh, they're part of, parts of a team tactic. Denotes when the card can be played. A player may play active team tactic cards at any time during their turn. You can play reactive team tactic cards only when the listed trigger is met. Do you have any reactives? Yeah, I do. That is... Active, reactive, reactive, reactive. The brace for impact. So when I'm about to collide with something, I can spend energy not to do okay. that. So the other one you have to do on your turn, yep. the minus three for the round, or minus two for the round. Okay. Man, we just added a layer of complexity, so now we got to, like, soak it in. There's two. This is the early miniatures game. But we're still, so Terror. we added cards, we added objectives. Mm -hmm. 
and we added one model. So I think that's, that's a solid amount of stuff to add. That's a lot, yeah, it's good. But yeah. again, it's, it's only, you only do so much on your turn, right? So you activate a model, um, and that's all you have to do. Okay, so I gotta be within range one to contest these, and I've got to uh, pick these boys up. Okay. And then that's gonna be an interact, so it's a power to pick it up. Oh, we need to get a power. Yeah, right, let's do it, let's start. Power phase, here we go. One, one, one. Any relevant things that matter? I don't nope. think there's anything. There's very few, like, at the start of turn, at the end of turn. Power phase. The If you're holding cubes, you take damage at the start yeah. of the power phase and gain one more. Uh, okay. Prepare to get wrecked, Captain America. Captain Jabumbo. <laughs> Are you going first with Ultron? You know, it you're feels big, like big... Ultron should be grabbing cubes because I'm going to get power, take damage, and I can always resurrect. Does that make sense? Power is good. Powerful, yeah. <laughs> What's his speed? He can't be super fast, right? He's Ultron. He's medium. Schmedium. Okay, here. How about this? Put this in your... Here's a medium. I'm going to take my first action as a move. All right. Uh, this is a size 2, which means I can move over it. I think that's true. I'm a size a three? 3. Yeah, you yeah. can move over it. Now, what about equals? If you equal the thing, I think it has to be bigger than you to cause you to climb. Hmm. I'll look that up shortly. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> All right, can he get there? Can I measure that? What are you There's no to... way I'm going to be within one. You'll be over the one. Look at his base is fat, man. You think so? Yeah, you're totally over the one. He's just going to be on the edge of that car. I could throw myself on the car there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, you're like not even... You're there for days. Not, that wasn't a daze. That was... You were there for days. That was a whisper. Uh... I'm spending my power to... David well, says morning from Oz. Hey, Australia. Is OZ? Yeah, it's got to be Australia. That's the way Australian... Uh, Good morning. I always hear Australia as Oz. Unless he's like a, it's a Wizard of Oz reference. That's what I was... I was like, Kansas. are you from like... Kansas. That'd be <clears> funny. <throat> Ultron. Energy blast coming What's at you. What's the range on this thing? Range four. He can't well, reach. Let's just see. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. So what else can he do? Well, we'll think about it. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to interact with this uh, token, so I'm going to spend my one power. Oh, you can just move away to gain move this. the next one. I'm now holding a shard, and then I'm back in action, and I'm going to be controlling this old boy. Unless you can do something about it. Just hiding over there. I see how it is. Uh, just a little two-point pickup during the cleanup phase. Don't mind if I do playing the game like it's meant to be played. All Boom. All right. Mine? Check mark. Complete. I'm going to go with... You, guys, you got your check mark? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I'm checked. <laughs> I'm going to go with Spidey. He's going to spend an energy right to pick up a cube. Mm -hmm. Am I good with that? Um, it's going to be a pinata party about turn three. Yeah. <laughs> pinata. <laughs> <laughs> um, then he's going to move. Let's... He's got a long... And the interaction with the little thing is a Healy. Keep that in mind. Actually, Lean on that dumpster if you want to actually be Spider-Man. Well, I want to both guess not. control that and... Is that within one? Get cover. Look at this. <laughs> Just moving for you. All right, you're controlling it. I give it I'll give you that. Uh, so we moved. I guess technically... Why don't you just get up here? He has a, I don't, because you'll come and get me. You could try to throw this dumpster. I will next round. You could collide these dumpsters in each other. And just you're not in range point. for me to throw that dumpster. You, 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 we're about to get there. So he, he does one action. Isn't, what are my other actions? I got nothing else. I can't can just move, like power you up. You can attack. You can uh, shake if you just want to, you know, do that. It's like in Smash Brothers when you just taunt the other person. And then uh, you can use a superpower if you'd like. You could technically just move terrain around as far as I know. Because if it doesn't collide with anything, wouldn't it just... Yeah, but that costs me energy to do That's that. fine, though. It's cool, though. I like it. Um, <laughs> hmm. Set yourself up for a little dumpster uh, brawl next turn. Let's actually... Inst I'm going to... Nah. <laughs> I move there to move into the spot. That doesn't do anything. Uh, I got nothing else to do. Are you just going to shake at me? 
My problem is, I'm just going to use my other action to move because it doesn't matter. He's so fast. Actually, no. I like that cover. Wait, you that. could get in here and technically if you had another power. I don't have another that, power. That it fragment. would be great if I did. We're good. All right, you're shaking? Mm, Give me shaking. that check mark. All right, Captain Jabimbo. Let's go. Uh, Brendan asking if this mat comes in the course set. It does not. I bought this on, on the internet. And we thought it was three by three. That's I the was, funny part I of was this mat. <laughs> you should have seen it. I pulled it's it out. Like it's like... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it works, though. It actually is a blessing, though. Uh, crossbones. Let's go. Move. <laughs> he is slow. It's awesome to watch him. Let's move again. Yep. Let's, let's get in the dumpster zone. Literally in the dumpsters. Let's gra We're grabbing. Dubon. Fragment. Achieved. Have at these, Zach. Check mark. You already went with Ultron. So I like this already a lot better. We're not just like punching each other. It's about to be a fist fight though. Yep. All right, Cap, cap medium. Where is... I made a mistake by... Medium. Not keeping my strategic genius around. <laughs> All right, so I'll make a rule where I'll return these always to the left side That's of the board. That's a good rule. Left side of the board. So he's going to do a medium move. Ah, my plan. It's all falling into place now. I'll actually go a little over here. And then he's going to do a, you know, this is the best part of shield throw. Ignore his line of sight. Doesn't ignore cover, does it? I don't know. What's it mean to ignore <laughs> line of sight if it's not going to ignore cover? Well, you can't, like, I, can Captain America, like, throw it around stuff? He bounces it off trash cans all the time. Oh, uh, God, I don't buy that. Have you seen you, the movies? You guys don't buy Have that. Have you seen the movies or not? <laughs> you got a tactic card for I can I can literally bounce? make anything up because it's, I just always call on the fact that you've never... Uh... So I think it would say it would avoid... Um, Line of sight is a very specific thing, separate from cover. It's a different chapter, even. All right, fine. You got me. <laughs> what does the cover even give you? Cover gives me a blank automatically turns into... Okay. The defender must be within range one of a terrain feature of the same size or larger. Size two. Yeah, you're good. Okay. I am. A straight line can be drawn from any portion of the attacker's base to any portion of the defender's base through that terrain feature. I mean, that's like... Child's play. You got cover. <laughs> got cover. I'm in dumpsters. I get it. Actually, uh, let's just check this. The attacker can't. If the attacker is within two, I don't get cover. I'm not. Well, I'm just out. Here we go. Shield throw coming. All right. Physical attack. Two wilds and a skull. Skulls and nothing. Is there a good place for me to roll these stream boys? Right in here. The okay. This is a black uh, blank because I have cover. Oh, wait. And the defending character does not benefit from cover. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Forgot to read the second half of that sentence. That's fine. They're like, hey, continue reading shield <laughs> throw. It's like, oh, thanks, stream. Oh, the number one rule of miniatures games. I get it. Uh, I rolled two uh, defense, so it doesn't matter anyway. Because so it does four damage? You. Now, let's, let's run down the proper uh, thing. Do you have any criticals? Just yeah. sure, that proper structure is going to go right out the window. It's, we're going to stick to it. Modify your dice. Do you have any modifications? No. Nope. Actually, me first, uh, and I don't. If I had Baron here, I could do a reroll. Do we want to modify each other's dice? No. Nope. Calculate success or failure. Failure. Resolve effects before damage. No damage is applied. And then after the attack, any effects? Nope. You want to try to shield bounce into anything else? Maybe the I card? <coughs> Mm, no, we're good. Wait, oh, hold on. It's just, uh... Oh, oh, so close. <laughs> Almost had that shield bounce right <laughs> off of... <laughs> That's so good, by the way. That's really cool. Like, when that actually is working, it makes me so happy. Because the shield is four. So just for context, right? It's like... I'm just going to string this together. So he can hit, like, that far away, roughly. Yeah. Which is amazing. It's very good. Makes me very happy. Did you just fall from my crossbones gambit? Come and get it. Give me that check mark. What check mark? <laughs> Cap didn't go yet. All right, Baron. <clears throat> okay, if Baron stays within two of crossbones, this is kind of my plan. Let's just kind of string them along. I also have that long move with Baron Zemo, and then I have a Two range attacks. So are you within five in any world? No. Close. A hopeful world. 
I'm going to play this cool. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my long move here. Whoop. I'm going to spend a power to get this boy. I was hoping he wouldn't do and that. And then I'm going to take a long move here. And I'm going to make sure that this is precise. <laughs> okay, good. I'm in shield throw range, but I also get a reroll on defense, so I'm okay with it. Um, and then I get a check mark. No, wait, I already have one. <clears throat> <laughs> Hold on, I almost broke the roll. Just don't feel like I'm playing a miniatures game if I'm not leaning over something. <laughs> right? That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, All right, Black Widow, you've got some choices to make. Why don't you come contest this objective with Baron on I it? I can't move that fast. <laughs> You're along, aren't you? Yeah, but it's not going to get me in range one. Do you have any movement after attack abilities? I thought you kind of had one of those. No. Nope. But I know what I'm going to do. Let's move. And we're going to make sure that we're in range here. But also that you can't draw a dumb line. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, make sure I'm not in striking range. Nope. Good. I'm going to use my pistol, which is physical, and we're going to come at Baron. Oh, weak. Is it physical attack? Yep. Ready? Uh, create attack dice pool, create defense dice pool, roll attack dice. Crit and a hit. Okay. I've got a defend and a wild. I'll add my crit. Nope. Nothing. And then uh, I'll go ahead and do this for our own sake. So now we modify our own dice. I have priority, so technically I go first. Baron Zemo, strategic genius, gives me nothing, which is the only thing that that does. And then <laughs> you can modify your dice if you'd like. I know. We're good. We Cancels out. each other's, and it's done. And then I get a check mark. End of round. End of round. That's our first end of round with objectives. Let's Score run it down. victory points from crisis cards. Mark them on the thing. So I'll take the priority. Uh, so I'm controlling one, two. Yep. And I have one, two, three fragments. So that's five points. That was some good work on the fragments. You know. You did have priority. So what can I say? I'm, I'm here to make it happen. And then you've got what? You're controlling one, two. Yep. And one fragment. Yep. So you're at three. And our fragments make us take a damage, right? That's the power phase. Oh. Resolve effects from crisis cards. <laughs> also, by the way, just in hindsight, just so we're, we're smart about this, uh, when I took Spider-Man first and then grabbed this cube, that mm -hmm. you had zero chance of ever grabbing this round. Yeah, like the one that I left on the car over here. Yeah, not, that was a total mistake. Yeah, I should have hopped over here at Black Widow, grabbed the cube, and come back here. For this being your second game, you're really playing like an idiot, Zach. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. When I still beat you, it'll I, make you feel even I worse. I expect complete mastery by game two, okay? I know, I know, I know. Uh, player, uh, nothing's dazed. Uh, I took the last activation, so that doesn't. The token does not pass. That's interesting. Uh, it's kind of a fascinating little thing. Remove it's basically all, just uh, the same player can't go twice. Right? right. Remove all activated tokens from characters, and then move the round token to the next round. So, is there an actual round token? That seems unnecessary. Oh. But here, give me like the star. Oh, this little, is definitely it. Is that a round token? I mean, it's round. <laughs> Go to round. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Go to round two. Each character. Good gains. morning, Darth Dog. <laughs> he says good morning on chat. I like that name. Get in here. Was, I thought hey. that was just a organic. <laughs> good morning, Darth Dog. It's like, what are you talking about? That's how. By the way, that's just what I say when I look in the mirror in the morning. <laughs> that's really what the what uh. the. You said you're growing your hair out for Kylo Ren, but it's just because you want to be a Darth Dog, truly. Yeah. Resolve any player what effects up, that Dye? happen during the power phase. There are no player effects happening. And then resolve <laughs> any effects of crisis cards that happen. We do have those. So all of my things that hold a cube take a damage and gain a power. Same here. What's up, Bryce? Done. Done. Okay, it's Done. just the uh, objective. Done. And then all our characters gain one power as well, just in general. Yeah, I already did that. I did that one at the start. The prop, the proper way. Okay, nice. All right. Having two power at the start of the turn is a big difference. Yep. That turns everything essentially to uh, but possible. But a, a damage is a lot, actually. A damage is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And you have the cube, so you're going to take another damage here, right? I'm going to keep stacking up those points at the same time, though, aren't I? 
Ryan making a very insightful comment here. Uh, what a complete amateur stream of a non-released <laughs> game. Not <laughs> That's how you learn. It, I just think it's cool to point out like little things that we can improve uh, given that we are that's, in such a learning phase. That's very true. All right, so a couple of questions here. People people are begging, by the way. They're saying they really want us to play a game of the whole. We don't He's have here. his card. I have his card. Do, his digital you card. It? We don't have it to pop up. We could get it for the next one. Let's put him on the table on the next one. All right. How many points is he? <laughs> Ten? A lot. Okay, uh, so allied character. Ally may spend one. Ally within two of another. So this is interesting. I don't want to get my hand in the cookie jar, essentially, on this. Um, if right now any of my things are within two of yours, we could get the team tactics on. But if I move up to set that up, then now I'm in your team tactics zone. I guess we can move the check marks too. Whole cost six, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> How much does Bruce Banner cost, though? Uh, Zero. Whole five. I believe also has twenty stamina. No. Yep. Wait, across both, so ten and ten. Twenty. <laughs> the number two zero. But he also rolls like one defense die. Okay. So it's like you can't miss him. He just, but he takes a lot of attacks. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta really think about this. Uh, while Steven's doing that, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. No rush. We're just hanging out. Yeah. Okay. Who has? What's your What's your energy defense on Spidey? And... Oh, Hulk doesn't have an energy side apparently. Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, Spidey needs to get blasted. That's what's going to happen here. Yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. All right, get Spidey. ready for the pain. Hold on, let me make sure I don't have a... Wait, I do have an ability. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I just won't... I'm just not going to pay attention to it. It'll just be fun. It'll be very thematic given the position and ah! characters involved as well. I just set myself up to get Ultron right into that dumpster. Um... Okay, there's Ultron's first action, which is a move. My second one, I'm going to do Analyze and Annihilate. During the next attack this turn, when resolving critical results, roll an additional for each critical in the opposing defense roll. So, Say that again. So I will, I will explode your crits on my side as well as my crits. Okay, and you're targeting Spidey? I am about to target Spidey. How many dice is this? This is a five die attack. So I'm targeting you with an energy blast. It's range four. I went ahead and got really got in there, didn't I? <laughs> ah, miniatures games. I can just blast you. <laughs> did I even need to move? I guess I did. Well, I let me check the scope. Four. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> judge, judge, judge. Come on. Okay. Oh boy. Energy blast of five. Coming in. All right. And your criticals will also count as Let my criticals. Let me think about this for a second. You going to choose to defend or not? Or something? Cap has a bodyguard. Oh, so nice. if you attack someone within range two of him, he can spend two energy to become the target. Right on. So Spider-Man, go ahead and take this it's one. It's an energy attack. That matters. So. Nope. All right. We build our dice pools. Uh, I don't have any cards that matter on that. And we roll the attack. So there is three hits. One of them is a critical. Mm. A wild and a block, or so a, a damage. Um, now we resolve criticals, and my ability did nothing because you rolled garbage. You're welcome. I guess that's not ultimately bad. There's an energy. So then I have rerolls. When does that happen? So now we, because I have priority, I modify any of my own dice. I can see if I'm within two of my strategic genius. You're not. Everybody out there knew that that was not the case. I was about seven away. Um, let me make sure I don't have anything else. Doot, 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 doot. Nope. So now you can modify your dice. I'll reroll these two. You get two? That's what Spidey does. Oh. Spidey sense. When okay. I'm a dodging or a defending, I get to reroll two dice. So now oh. is the time when the crits need to show up. Just like that. It's aggravating. <laughs> Uh, but they don't explode at this point. No, they don't. So they lucky. still don't. All right, so I block two. All right, take two damage and energy blast. I gain power equal to the damage dealt. Seems good. Now Spidey's ready to go. So that was the old move, and then I spent two for Annihilate, Annihilate, and then I made an attack. So that's two actions. Now, can one drop a cube if they want? Fragment? I get the check mark. You know, I think so. 
Um, I can look that up officially, but maybe it sticks to you. Maybe it's like a cursed item. I, I anyway. <laughs> Spidey's getting low that. on the health department, so. <laughs> yeah, getting blasted, man. All right, you ready to rumble? I'm still ready. Uh, Ultron is done. Complete. Uh, someone asked me where I got the mat. I don't remember, but it's from The Walking Dead. It's compatible with Walking Dead miniatures game. Um, but they don't have it in a bigger size, so this is as big as it gets. I think they have this is actually 18 inches, so you could put four of them together to form a 3x3. Three three. I'm almost certain it's at least, I think it's 20. <clears throat> I this? read the description because we were so devastated. It was. Maybe it was. Yeah. Um, but I will say Atomic Mass is putting out multiple maps on release f that go with all the terrain they're putting out as well. So my intent is to pick up one of those. Um, all right. So Spider-Man's going to go, I think. Yeah. Let me read my cards. Dazed or KO'd, they drop all... It doesn't give me anything about dropping these tokens, but you've got to be able to, right? Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. It has drop in bold, which means that it's probably an actual thing. Drop. Okay, may maybe I have, do I have a? You keep keep talking, because I'm thinking over here. Do I have a, I'm looking if I have like a, oh, this is actually pretty nice. Terrain, movements, place, toward away, making an attack. I don't think it doesn't give me anything. That doesn't mean that it's not possible. But I don't think it's possible. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Does Ready? it say it on the card? It doesn't. I looked. It was helpful. <laughs> every every uh, chance. <laughs> so Spider-Man's going to kill himself with that cube. <laughs> Thanks for doing business, Spidey. Wait, that's in, the, that's in the power of phase. That would be devastating. Yeah, going into a turn. We, we've got to be able to drop these boys. I mean, If not, you're kind of in a hilarious who, who position. Who couldn't drop a fragment? I mean, this is not super. My new mission stuff. now that all of your characters have a fragment is to just murder you. Hold on. Spider virus infected. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, I could drop a person. So Will's saying there are cards that let you pass them off. See mission objective tactic card. Team tactic? No, it's one of those over in the stack oh. we didn't pick. So, so we're stuck. You're hosed. So are you. No, you're really hosed, though, because if you go down in the power phase, you, you're you done. I'm, I'm two away. Okay. You got to do one more damage. But the same is true for, like, you know, Baron Zemo. It's like if I get him down to one, mm -hmm. he's just gonna clock himself. Yeah, I think we've yeah, I think we've seen the devil's bargain here. <laughs> you picked up three of those bargains. <laughs> There's a card for you. Yeah. From downtown. Uh, to play this card. This is only you can you can only play this when you would drop it. So when you would get pinated, essentially. Yeah. All right. Huh. You ready for this? All right, well, I'm going to say you can't drop him until we learn otherwise. I think two, two, yeah, that's fine. Within three. Okay. Uh, Spider-Man is going to... Spider-Man. Spider He's going to web a pult okay. for two. It's minus one because of a day like any other, uh, unlike any other from Cap. You just spent two, though. Oh, it's, so it's, it's normally three. three. Yeah. So I'm going to take this garbage can and I'm going to throw it at you. Throwing terrain. Do we remember how this works? You think you got it? The size plus one, uh, and you're rolling a dodge, a physical. It's also, technically, it would be like straight mm -hmm. towards you. <laughs> yeah, and then it goes away. And it's a two, and I'm a two, and it goes away. Anytime you throw terrain and it hits something, it just, it's destroyed. Yeah. Yep. Does that specify size two or less, or three or less? Size two or less. Two or less, okay, makes sense. All right, so Baron is going to try to dodge this terrain throw. I get my standard four physical, and then we'll see what happens. We've got a crit and a wild. <laughs> so let can, me... can I see that trash can? Yeah. I'm doing, I meant to do the other trash can. Oh, you can do that, yeah. I'm going to do this one. So then I'm just going to use this to explode my crit. Okay. Because that's easier. That's a zero. And let me see if Baron matters here. May reroll one die in their attack or defense rolls. Those are not dodge rolls. Dodge roll is a separate thing, so I yep. don't get the bonus. So I would take one damage here, is that right? And it's crossbones. Yeah. yeah Three yeah. minus two. Yeah, but yeah. Baron's got the strategic yeah, that got can it, give got him it, the, yeah. the mind meld. <clears throat> so you can pay one and not take it. So I can pay one and take nothing. 
or I can take one and gain a power. I like the strategy of keeping crossbones healthy. All right. So then, I still haven't really done anything. No, let's not. Next with Spider-Man, I'm going to use... I'm take one, Zach. All right. Taser webs. Uh, if the attack deals one or more damage after it's resolved, the target gains the stun special condition. Don't quit. My favorite. You stop that. Uh, and this is a six die attack coming at crossbones. For the size of the train. Uh, Aileth asking block. if there's any luck mitigation. So there's some from hand, and there are characters that are have the ability to reroll on certain styles of attacks. But it's definitely, it feels, it reminds me a little bit of uh, X-Wing where it feels like characters are supposed to be taking damage and like it's slanted towards damage being taken. Also, uh, cover. I mean, there's always yep. cover. Um, all right, so he's taser webbing you. Oh, dude, you should have got cover against my blast. See, look, because we could draw from Ultra into Spidey mm. through that dumpster. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Well, I'm not here to manage your... Uh... So, <laughs> I threw the garbage can to remove cover from him on this taser blast, so I'm going to shoot you for six. And this is He must be some sort of genius. Is, is that a physical? Energy. Hmm. Two. Hello there, six. Wow, I think I'm just going to die here. <laughs> like I said, pinata time. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Got a crit. I think yeah. I could come in here. Yeah. Um, roll one of yours. Roll one of yours. Roll one of yours. All right. I like having six sitting here. It just feels good. So there's a critical. That's a hit. It's not going to count. Don't so you get two. some kind of tactical strategery? I do. Um, Baron Zemo, when I'm being attacked, anything within two can get a free reroll. Strategic genius. You're welcome. Just so you know, that's the name of the ability. Three minus six. So you're taking three. So I take three. I'm going to take two instead for his Inured to Pain ability. And you're stunned. And I'm stunned. So I gave my two power, and then I'm stunned, right? Yep. And you've got two left. I've got two left. So then for Spider-Man's next attack, do I want to run or attack? This is where the story comes to life. Because crossbow. Wait, hold on. I need to resolve crossbones. I'm going to do that move towards you thing, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, uh, my better attack is strike, just here where a little spidey. So if you come closer. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want that then. Because you're out of power. Yeah. So you've got nothing you can do except for that webbing thing, and I feel like I can... Uh, yeah, it's that. not that great. Mm. You going to run? Yeah. <laughs> Am I good? Yeah, yeah. All right, guess what Spider-Man's going to do? Spider-Man around. Let's go to the corner of the earth. That's pretty cool. All right. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Are we then two yet? Uh, so Ryan's asking how many attacks Spider-Man gets. So the thing is, I use the Webapult, which is a superpower to throw the garbage can at Crossbones, and that's not an action or an attack. And then he gets two actions. So I did my one taser web attack, and then I moved away to not get destroyed. Here's the cool thing. So check this out. I'm not going to do this. I think it's very relevant. <clears throat> Crossbones has that can move up whenever mm -hmm. you get attacked. So technically, if I'm a smart player, I can move him up to where he's just within two of Cap, but not within two of Spidey. Mm -hmm. And then my team tactic cards start to come. So he actually is a really good team tactic guy because he can move around when he's getting attacked and set up like Baron could come in and, and he can, trip up Cap. he can take a punching. He can take a punching, yeah. That, that is 100% the case. <laughs> okay. So let's see what Baron's capable of. He's got a big two. Hmm. Oh, wait. Ding. Oh, right. You got to give him the check mark. Yeah. You got to give him the check mark. So you can do a slice, slice. That's relevant. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna play smart. You <laughs> ever think about doing that? Uh, sometimes. It reminds me of some advice I got at Destiny Worlds a couple of years ago, when someone was like, "I just need to start winning." Yeah. <laughs> was that me that said that? That was you. Yeah. I do believe that. That was one of the best lines. It's like <laughs> eleven o'clock the night before Swiss, and we were playing, and you just were tired of losing. I was just getting wrecked. <laughs> so, did we decide I can go through this? Hold on, I'm Why not? It'll be fun. Well, because I'm rules. just kidding. What's the rules? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it's probably under movement or terrain, so I'm going to start with movement. See if it's there. Okay. Mm okay. 
And only a single movement, no. That is not where it is. There's about to be some ricochet action in here. Oh, I, I don't know, I think you're gonna be dead. Cap? Yeah. Terrain. Okay, uh, the majority may be thrown. Uh, the list below shows common. Okay, common terrain, etc. The character throws, dodges. All right, so that didn't work either. I'm gonna go back to movement. Don't worry, I'll find it. Hey, we're just hanging out. When measuring distance, the object, if this isn't possible, do train hold the measuring tool above the battlefield. And within the distance, an object is always considered itself. If you guys have any questions or you're watching, I'm happy to answer them. Hanging out. Move. Makes it advance. The rules for advancing are on page 16. Oh, I'm, go I'm narrowing in on it. Circling. <laughs> Here we go. I love it's like it's like choose your own adventure through a book. Uh, okay. The player may pivot the movement, may overlap terrain features that are the same size or smaller. Just got the same answer from chat, so we're good. Excellent. All right, so that's my first action. My second action is going to be straight up a sword strike. All right, so I'm just going to do my basic attack. It's going to be five because I've learned that what I really want is I want Baron Zemo to, and I'm, I'm within two, right? Is what I gotta do? You're be. way within two. I mean, can I just stand on this? 100%. Is that real? Yeah. Let's do that. That's like, come on, that's awesome. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my five die attack. And I've got- This is on cap? Two and a thing. Yep, it's attacking right. cap. I'm rolling four, physical, right? You can bump your defense if you want to. I don't. No, I'm going to save that energy for smashing face in a second. A wild and a crit. All right, resolve your crit. I don't have any to resolve. Wild. wild. And then I will do my barren reroll into nothing. <laughs> and uh, we do have something beautiful here. That's amazing. After uh, the attack is resolved, I can, do, or I can do my little bleed condition because I rolled a wild. So you're now bleeding, Cap. I believe this is blood token. I have some bleed. Let's put it on the board and on the card. All right. We've got, we've got the components. And then uh, that's it. <clears throat> all right, my turn. So you, are you all check marked out? You Did crossbones my go yet? No, he's not gone. I blasted you with uh, Ultron, and then that's crazy. You're up. letting me just come and take him down. You can try. <laughs> you can try. You will try. But if you fail, it will be bad for you. Yeah? You've, you've tried this before and Crossbones remains untouched, so I'm just saying, you're gonna be Team Tactics City if you miss on this. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Let me look. <laughs> oh, I reminded Zach that he has Team Tactics card. <laughs> yes, you did. <clears throat> it's actually, these are, these are easier than I thought. Yeah, it's less complexity than you think. Yeah. And basically, if this is like any game, you just use them whenever you can. You just don't wait for like the perfect moment. Just use the cards. Mm. How many games are going to end where your team tactic cards are useless? Mm hmm. You only got to do one damage, and then I'll get. You're done for the out round. Out on the power phase, at least. Um, two damage will take me out now. But then I'm coming in injured with a haymaker. I think this is the right call. You ready for this? It also means you're not controlling. I'm going to play the first card of the 2019 Marvel <laughs> Crisis Protocol draft. Just kidding. Uh, disarm. Unaffiliated. When two allied characters win three of the same enemy character. Nice. Nailed it. Yep. Uh, the allied characters may spend one each. Uh, then the enemy rolls two fewer dice on all attacks this round, to a minimum of one. Nice. Okay. So you're minus two on your attacks. Give me, give me a, give me a marker or something to to note that. Do I? Is there something that makes me look? Give me that little tripped up looking token. Yeah. I don't know what this. Do you think like is that kind of as defense dice? Two fewer dice on all attacks. Two fewer dice on all attacks this round. No. That character rolls two less dice on all attacks. Not during all attacks. <laughs> All attacks. Yeah, I'm not rolling an attack. You're uh, rolling during an attack. 
<laughs> um, all right, so Captain America will uh, um, shield throw. We're going to go here. I assume throw? like disarm, it means that my offense is worse. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll shield throw here. Okay. Four physical. Crit and a hit. Four defense. Wild and a crit. Let's so reroll this crit. Three hits. <laughs> nothing on my crit, and then Zemo. Zemo oh, did not nothing. deliver. Oh man, I thought it was an attack for Zemo a second. Zemo never delivers. All right, so you can take one, nope. or you can cancel an energy. Canceled. All right, I didn't get any wilds, so we'll do a another. No. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do a strike on Baron Zemo. No. You're playing right into my plans. What does bleed do? When I activate, I take a damage. Is that right? One at the end of each of its activations. Cool. So not yet. Yeah. But we're about there. Why would it say each of its activations? If Just you have a card that lets you like reactivate. Oh, right now. Okay. Why didn't it say its activation? Oh. It's not for each action, surely. That'd Three. Be devastatingly good. Three physical on Zemo. Three physical on Zemo. So I've got three here. Oh. So two, two wilds. Can't reroll. And I can't reroll anything. So I, no, no strategy is greater than a skull. So I take one. And before you take damage, I can push you away a small template. Don't mind me. Oh, that's before damage. Yep. But I want those team tactic cards to not be on. Oh my gosh, that's so good for you. <laughs> oh, dude, we're still within three. No right? way. Hold nope. on. Hold on. Come on Here, hold on. Judge, judge. <laughs> hold on. I've learned anything in X Wing. Oh, this. that moved. You moved Captain back a little bit. You see that? You guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on. I'm it's on. Not, no, not come, come on, move it. Three. There's no way. Oh I would have to move God. it like over a millimeter, which didn't happen. <laughs> I think that's easily within three. No way. It's easily within I three. I think you're crazy. All right. Well, then, uh, my plan cannot work. Uh, you took a damage, right? Yep. And I get energy when you take that damage because it's a strike. And then after my activation, I take a damage, and then I get another energy. Does it give you the energy for succeeding? Is that that one? Yeah, the that's strike the strike, thing? yeah. Okay. Nice Classic. Push. Okay. Well, now I'm really controlling that objective. Um, are you within? No, you're not within one of this boy, right? No. Excellent. Okay. Oh, I forgot to move towards you with crossbones too. I will can, get. You can do that. I'm I'm not good at crossbones. Nothing's even happened since then. What do I do? A small. I feel like I want to try to make money moves here. Making money moves. And then did you take a damage for the bleed? Yeah. <clears throat> Captain Bimbo. <laughs> All right, crossbones is going to activate because that's the only thing I've got left to activate. Lifter's Life asking, uh, what game is this? I'm going to send you a link. You can obviously watch us, but here's all the, the stuff that's coming out next month. Ooh, this is fun. Very fun. Okay. If you get to 16 points, you just win. Wait, no, I can't do that. I didn't take any damage. So now that's, ah, that's worse. Mm. That's so much worse. I'm going to play the game that I'm here to play, OK? Hit me with it. I'm going to give you some, some sweet tactics. I'll take one damage. That'll be fine. I will still have priority, right? So I can kick it off with crossbones. Everything's fine. Nothing. If you take one from this thing, and you have one more damage on you somehow, then that's bad. Yeah, if like Black Widow could do it, do one to me, that would be tough. That would be. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is... Um, Remember your minus two attack dice. I'm going to do some parkour. I'm not even parkour! Gonna, I'm not even going to attack. Ha. You can't get away from Black Widow. Ha. I see what you're doing here. I'll just score a sweet point. How about that? Points are good. And then let me make sure that I'm within two before I do that. So yeah, I'm 
well with NT. Uh, that's it. Those are my two actions. <clears throat> Widow time. Widow time. Here's the moment. Let's just see where this would get us. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. She's going to move. Can you dig it? And then, for my next trick. Come on, crossbones. Stay up. She's going to use strike, but her strike is an energy attack. Mmm. Awful <clears throat> for me. Roll poorly. <laughs> Dice voodoo. <laughs> Hit and Oof. a crit. So go ahead and roll yours, and then I'll roll my uh, crit in. You got a crit. I got a crit. Just Nothing. A... I need one. Wait, you're two to my one? Yep. I should be okay then. Blocked ah. it. Blocked. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Is that it? That's it. All right. So let's go to the next uh, thing here, the power, the cleanup phase. Score victory points. Um, I've got one, none. Contested. Two, three, four. So I get four. I only gain one. one two, three, four. You only gain one? Yep, because it's Spidey. <laughs> power phase. Each character gains one power. This is our time. This is my round. What up, David? Welcome to the stream. Okay. Ryan's got something for you. Ryan's got a question. <clears throat> oh, I didn't forget. I can't tell Steven that, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, did I forget something? No, th these you can interact with to heal one. Yeah, 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 totally. So, like, Zemo could have spent energy to heal one? Yeah. Yeah, that is very true. Um, so, I take one for the cube and gain one power. One for a cube. Gain a power. <laughs> getting, cube, getting a little gain a power. Getting a little tight in there. I dude, I like I like all this power. It's the name of the you game. You killed me on points though. Okay, crossbones coming in. Um, we're gonna do a haymaker. <clears throat> Next roll is gonna be plus three. Okay. And then we're going to do a strike. Who are you haymaking? Uh, who's the who's the worst? Black Widow's a three, Captain America's a four. Captain America's bleeding still and has one damage down. Can't Cap make himself a target? Yeah, he, can. he can. He can soak it, but I'd like, he can spend energy on that if he wants to. Does she have any weird react and counter strike? Yes, she has that's counter exactly what she has. For two? <laughs> Literally, that was right, worse. So Captain America is super uh, attacking. <laughs> You're attacking Cap? Yeah. <laughs> Does she have like any counter strike weird stuff? Yep. So five. Precisely. Plus three for a haymaker. Uh, I'm gonna do plus two for uh, vibranium shield. Vibranium. Right. So you're taking it to cap, or you're just giving the plus. You're attacking defense. cap, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're giving the defense. All right, crossbones. Good luck, buddy. Mm, not terrible. So four in, four out, and one crit. I'm gonna borrow these four. Yeah. Plus I'll these just two. use my crit dice. I need six. Oh, you do six. Ugh. It's plus two. Gross. That's good. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Four and a crit. So I'll roll this in for my crit. And All right. That in for Give crit. me one. All right. So I've got five, and I've got no modifications. Do you have any modifications? I have no modifications. All right. Then take one, and I'll gain one power. Powerful. Okay. And then... Let's do an overpower for two. What's that do? Uh, it's a five dice attack. Um, after this attack is draw, place this character within one of the target. So I can move around a little mm, bit. Mm -hmm. And on a wild, I get to throw you if you're size two or less. Size three. Just kidding. <laughs> Cap, Wait, Cap's a big Cap's boy. the size of a building? <laughs> uh, okay. Here's the overpower. Um, it is a physical attack, and I get to decide who I'm going to wing this at. You don't, have, you don't have any power on cap, right? I have three power. Yeah, three cap. power. Mm -hmm. I had four. I spent two, and then you did a damage. So I, I mean, you could technically overpower. It's essentially two energy. You don't have to spend an action. I'm gonna do cap. How many dice you roll? Uh, five. Any rerolls? No. Did 
Um, yeah, let's defend it. Plus two. How about that? Two hits. One of them is a crit. I'm going to take this skull from you. Yeah. Mm, that's good. One. And then crit into a wild. Here we go. No, it's just some damage. Take two. All right. So Call me in the morning. Two energy and two damage. And then I may advance, uh, place it within one of the target. So that's you. <laughs> you're, you're the target, dude. You, dude. Hold um, on. I'll keep the I'll keep the pressure on this objective just to make you earn it. <laughs> Look at that. Come yeah. on. Come on. We're telling good stories here. <clears throat> just fighting. Hanging out. All right. So technically, Crossbones has one health left. One health remains. And, and a check mark. he's going to get knocked out at the first of next round. Yes. So that's good for me. I don't feel like I want to waste attack. See, that's good. So what are you going to do? You'll, you'll see. It'll be great when you find out. Hmm. Hmm. Zemo's only got two health remaining, and Ultron's got four. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some damage going on. But that. Cap's also about hitting the stable too, uh -huh. right? He's one away. Yeah, he's close. So I gotta go with Cap. This is my first action. And at the end of this, he will die from bleeding unless you shake it. Oh, or I heal. On, on or you could heal. Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Energy for health is what I've been playing all game, really, so. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, activate. I kind of just want to go check Zemo. <laughs> Come find out what he's about, would you? <laughs> Got a counter strike. That's so fine. Be aware. Make sure that this bleed works. Yeah, definitely. So there's one damage at the end of each of its activations. Make sure that you don't get two activations. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not calling it that, right? I don't think so. Each character may make two actions. Okay. I'm convinced. Okay. Good. What are you going to do here in a bit of a pickle? A bit of a minis game, minis... Can we turn Black Widow to... Although she kind of. Let's do this. Are you leaving? Yeah. I'm going to shake off this bleed. Oh, yeah. Captain <clears throat> America. Captain Jerun. All right. Cap is checked. Wow. Do you want to heal? Heal one? Yep, sure. <laughs> I think that's good. You can get rid of that bleed, too, on your card. Unless you just like having it there. Nope. All right, so you're saying you're running. Hmm. You know what? I don't know how, I don't know how you shoot people on top of a building in terms of line of sight. You just you see them. Yeah? Yeah. He might get covered. I think he would get covered. Hold on. Let's look at it. Because, you know, it's tempting to try to get Ultron over there and, and smoke him. Spider-Man? Yeah. Come on. Just energy blast him. Come on. What's your move, even? What's my move? Uh, Ultron's a medium, and he's got a four-range energy blast. Yeah, he'll get there. <laughs> yeah, he will. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Mm, yep. I could also go up there and try to trip you up. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. I like that very much. Do we have one to spin? We don't. Crossbones, you cashed out, you fool. <laughs> You fool. Um, character's line of sight. Straight, unobstructed line can be drawn from any part of the character's base to the other character's base or the object. The line can pass unobstructed through characters but not through terrain features with a larger size than the other character or the object. So the other character, technically this is a larger size than Spider-Man, right? So it wouldn't be able to pass through the building. Is that right? I do not know. Line of sight is the worst thing in games like this. Okay, here we go. Wait, it says it. Just keep reading. If a character's on top of a terrain feature, add the size of the character and the size of the terrain together for the purpose of determining line of sight. 
A character on top of a terrain feature ignores that terrain feature when determining if it has line of sight to another character. So that's three plus two, so you're a five. I'm a three. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> the line can pass unobserved of the character, but not through terrain features with a larger size than the other character or the object. It says keep reading. No, I kept reading. My friend says keep reading on the stream. No, but I just read the other Let section. Me see it. A character size is listed on its stat and doesn't correlate to its base size. That's it. <laughs> That's all I've got. What does it say from the top? It says, if a character is on top of a terrain feature, add the size of the character and the size of the terrain together for the purpose of determining line of sight. Read this part. You have line of sight to another character. If you can draw a straight, unobstructed line from any part of the character's base to the other character's base or the object. Can I do that? Am I missing something? Is everybody staring at me? No, like I don't know. Something? Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, the line can pass unobstructed through characters, so characters don't block it, but not through terrain features with a larger size than the other character or the object. So, let me see if there's an example here. Iron Man's Repulsor Blast checks if it range next. Uh, place the character. So Will says Spider Man is size five, building size plus Spider Man. So you can see him through the size three building. Uh, okay. Is that there's okay? Nothing, yeah, someone else put it. There's nothing bigger than Spider Man between Ultron and Spider Man. Right on. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so you so just he counts as size five right okay. now. Okay. That's that's very reasonable. So it seems reasonable to try to to try to murder Spidey here. It's always reasonable to murder. Right. Right. All right. Let's get a medium going here. Can you give me four from Spider Man just to give me a a feeling. Thanks. Now, can I? Can I also? <laughs> can Here you I, go. Can I also get? So I can get. Hey, you can get in there. In there, but can I get within one? Do we need the abacus? <laughs> <laughs> you can. You got that fat base. Look. All right, get that fat baby in there. Yeah. Look at this. Can you imagine Ultron flying in and shooting over your head at Spidey? I, uh, yeah, have you seen the movie? That'd be scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <haven't. laughs> Ah, so good. Okay. Um, Makes sense, Well, Thanks for the help. I'm not in three, am I? Nope. I don't know. That's an ambitious three. I'm not going to do it, but I, I would think make I an ambitious three. Four. Energy Blast, coming at you. Uh, four range, five <sighs> attack dice. Now, I'm going to use my kinetic field generator. No. I'm going to use my analyze and annihilate for uh, two. So I'm going to bust this down to two power. And during the next attack, I'm going to get your crits on, on me. Right. I get the crits. <laughs> Here we go. Mm, All garbage. Of <laughs> garbage can. <laughs> All right, there's one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <clears throat> All right. One blocky. Cool. Spider-Man gets to reroll these. Yeah, you only got one hit, so I don't need to. You don't even need to. No. I'll do it any I think anyway. So. Let me make sure I don't have any... Uh, oh, look at that. Deuce is wild. Uh, There's three hits. Bummer. Spider-Man okay. says no. That didn't work. Um, and uh, that I don't have the three for the kinetic uh, boy, so that's it. That was quite spectacular. Yeah, it's a good way to miss. Okay. That's right. There's so much pointing going on what over here. What size is Ultron? I think everybody's three. pointing. Yeah. All right. Now it's you. You. No. You. <laughs> now it's you. That was just a joke. I'm really attacking Black Widow. <laughs> that was just my bluff. Hmm. I'm playing the long point game here. I see that. That's why I'm at like 7,000 health taken. Damage taken. I we declared say. that was within range four, right? Yeah, it's Great. easily there. Yeah. <clears throat> Who have you not gone with yet? I haven't gone with Baron. The Zemester? Zeem. Zeem is. He might stick around for that one. He might grab this and then get another point. I might just double stack him. The old one point. Hmm. Ooh, Metallic Fury, you're so good. Mm. Seven dice? All right, let's do this. You ready for this? Uh -huh. mm. I mean, I don't really know. We're going to go... Doing, what, does he have something going on where he takes my crits still? 
No, that was just that moment. Yeah. So Black Widow is going to go. She's going to use Mixed Technique. It's physical. Four against Ultron. Four against Ultron. I have a four physical defense. Seems pretty good. A hit and a wild. Win some either. Does he have a wild effect on that? Yes. Elusive. After this attack is resolved, I can move a small movement. That's annoying. Minus one. So you take a damage? I take one damage. Yeah. If this attack deals damage, after this attack is resolved, the target character gains a stagger special condition. You stagger me? I'm staggered. I don't know what that means. Give me one damage. I think that's where you have to like shake. Do you have a one damage token and everything? Yeah, I got a bunch of them. It's kind of fun because you don't mind taking damage because you get a reward. You do. It's a nice nice mechanic on that. Um, did I check mark myself? Yes, I did. And she's going to not take that. What else she got? Move. Um, she's going to <clears throat> strike, which is an energy attack. Mm-hmm. You sure? Yep. Man, Ultron is great against the psychics. He's really good against psychic things. The Because he's a machine. Yeah. Well covered. Three. Three. Ah, you, wow. you called it. I called it, yeah. <laughs> I need to do that with my rerolls more often. Uh ha. Ah. Wow. Ah. Hey. Jetspa. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> all right, have at the. All right, that's all I got. I thought I was gonna hit you. Come <laughs> three. I got excited. Thought you're gonna hit me, huh? All right. Wait, I need my check mark yep. on the widow. Good thinking. All right, now we, now, now we. <laughs> now we've got the moment. This is the moment where Baron Zemo is the, is wrecking. Um, yeah? Yeah. He's going to hang out back there? I've got, I mean, I've got it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> okay. He's fast. He's a fast one, isn't he? Yeah. He's, He's a mover. Thinking the same thing. Oh, just move it. Just put that wherever you want, Steve. Not okay. range one, though. Oh, 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 it worked. <clears throat> okay, we're going to target uh, Black Widow. With a steel rush. Man, look at this team. Everybody is pointing. They're all just ready for you. Run into this. Steel rush. Three range, which I'm in. Six uh, damage there, and two power. So I'm going to spend my two power. And uh, roll some dice. And I am a strategic genius. Let's not forget. You know, if I make this a charge, I can get another attack in. Should I do that? What's a charge? Ooh, no, I'm going to do that instead. Are you within two? Yeah. OK. Here we go. Hold on. I've got to do this beforehand. So it says, when it's the target of a physical attack or targets a character with a physical attack, which I'm doing, okay. this character may use the superpower. If the enemy character is in two, I can reroll any number of my attack dice. Okay. So I have to do that when I target you, not after I see my dice. Yeah. Right? That's how a lot of these abilities work. You have to, like, bet on it. I'm beforehand. betting on it. I'm betting on it. <clears throat> okay, I get perma rerolls. That was worth doing for sure. Those three blanks? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to re-roll those. Um, okay, why don't you roll yours in, and then we'll do all the modifies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Double skulls. Get ready to... Black Widow is gone. Oh, man, I could team tactic. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Let me do that. Okay. I'm going to one-two punch you. When I target an enemy character with an attack, and another one is within two, pay one each. How about Ultron and... Baron, and I'm going to add two to the attack. One, two, punch. OK. Consider yourself one, two, punched. Here, take my skulls. And I get two extra dice. It's so good when he can reroll everything. Oh my gosh. Didn't need it. OK. So now we do the crits. That was, was a skull. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now we reroll everything left. Great. And then I believe I get Baron Zemo's strategic genius here. May reroll one die in their attack or defense rolls. All right, we skulled them out. That did nothing for me. It's but it, the odds were there. You got to play the odds, not the reality. Right? Yeah. Uh, so how about five and a bleed? Okay, she is going to be dazed. Oh uh, yeah. Taking four damage, and then she's dazed. Keep the power. I only get four though, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're you max out. Yeah. She's dazed, and then after the attack, I can advance a medium. We're controlling this. And then I'm going to spend one power to heal crossbones. The crossbones? Anyone within two, isn't it? It's not the model that within activates. Two. That's right. Yes. Clever man. Thank you. All right, mine? It <clears throat> is yours, yeah. And we'll give him a check mark. Oh, Spidey hasn't gone? No. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So now you're you're looking for crossbones and death here. Can we do this? <laughs> you can. I that? don't care. Nope. All right. I don't like that. No. I don't know if crossbones and death is. I want him to die next round. Wait, did you have Black Widow? Do you want to counter counter strike? I didn't have energy until I got. And do I get the energy after I get beat up? Um. After yeah. it's resolved, you may use the superpower. I guess. I guess you would get knocked out before then. You would get dazed before then. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next time. I mean, she didn't stand a chance against three of the coolest villains on the planet. Let's do this, shall we? Spidey better bring it here. Okay. So, there's a lot that's about to happen. You gonna use those team tactic cards? No. I could use the sucker thing. Oh, interesting. It's so weird. I don't know that I would ever use this, ever. This is really good against Ultron, I guess. <laughs> you just like soak up mm. the energy so he can't do his thing. Oh, how's it going out there in uh, Streamland? This is the part of the game where we have to start thinking. Yep. It's the last thing I want to do when I play a game. <clears throat> Mm. Why are these games so hard? It's the beauty. It is kind of a fun part of it, I guess. What's Ultron's health? Ultron has six total health, and you need to do three or two, and then the cube will do the rest. And you do one to Crossbones, and the cube will get him. Two to Ultron, and the cube will get him. They're all activated. Let's let's go for the Gusto. That's kind of that's kind of where we are, I think. Never get cat. You got Cap's ability too, don't you? The superpower mm -hmm. discount. The old <laughs> Cap cash register. <laughs> ching 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 ching. <laughs> what size is Ultron? Three. If I throw cross bronze into Ultron, what happens in terms of damage? Uh, it's no good. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Look, I'm pointing at you now. I've, <clears throat> we're rallying the troops. We knocked out Black Widow with a single exciting moment. Okay, throwing a character. Let me read. Uh, let me read you from the book of throws. Because I can't throw Ultron. He's too big. We're giving a very accurate learning a game video here. We are learning. You guys want to watch some, some guys look at a rule book for a game that they've only played once. The player performing a throw positions the movement tool with one in touching the thrown character. Is that what you're most interested in? I want to know how much damage <laughs> they're each going to take. A <laughs> uh, thrown character that collides with the terrain feature suffers one damage. A thrown character that collides with another character suffers one damage. And the other character makes the dodge roll based on their size. All right. So Ultron would be four, uh, and Crossbones would be a three. This will inevitably be my doom. And Crossbones has no power, so he cannot soak the one damage. Great. So he's done. Spidey. It's going to be a cool Spidey moment. Coming down. <clears throat> he's going to web a pult. This is not my attack. I'm going to web a pult crossbones into Ultron. Right on. So. 
So we would put the template here. Obviously, it's the I'm first just thing. Go straight into it's going to collide to you. So then crossbone takes one. Take one here. And then Ultron has to make a defense roll against a physical attack. His physical defense is four. Crossbones is a two size plus one. Well, let me actually. Is she actually on the board? I can stand on this token, right? Yeah, you can always. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, let me measure this. I, I think she's okay, still on the good. board. We're yeah, good. she's still on the board. All right, proper. All right, so I'm rolling against a three attack, like basically a three damage from Crossbones' body being thrown into Ultron. So there's a one. A strategic Genius doesn't count on a dodge, from what I read, so I'm going to take two damage. Oh my gosh, did you just do the one, two? That's what I'm talking about! Ooh, that was the Hail Mary that I was aiming for. Wow, I just this didn't is know gonna how it would work out. This is going to be devastating next turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Avengers Assemble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, Spidey. Uh, is going to... Man, gotta get that power. Gotta remember to take that power. Spider-Man is going... You have Counter Punch on Zemo. You know, Zemo. I wonder... I think Inner the Pain is going to trigger on the... on the thing. Can on I... the cube. I think Inner the Pain is going to trigger on the cube. Just or you so can, you like, know. prevent a damage? Yeah, it's like any time I would suffer a damage, I can use this power. And it says suffer a damage. I can do that. Crossbones, you so good. He's good at holding the cube. Yeah. He can hold it for a net zero. That's fine. Then you'll have to drop it. So if you want it again, you'll have to get it. Uh, Zemo has Counter Punch, but it counts two, right? Counter Strike? Yeah. So he can't do that? Yeah. Uh, so Spider Man's going to strike Zemo. Okay. Let's see if I have anything relevant. Two? Okay, and I've got a three defense. And I've got nothing, but I do have a reroll. Don't sleep on that. Does nothing. So I'll take two. Call me in the morning. And I will gain two from that because it's a strike. <clears throat> then I'll interact with that to heal one from Spider Man. I have a moment for you. Because I did take damage, I now have power. I took two damage, so I gained two power. Uh, and after the attack is resolved, I can use the counter strike. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, pay two, within three, roll four dice, and it's straight up just one damage to the attacker for every wild. So then I haven't healed crit. yet. That's really bad for me. Wild and crit. It's one and eight on both of those. <clears throat> Nothing. One. 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 So you knock him out? Yes. You daze him? Because <laughs> uh, someone told me that they couldn't counter strike. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I attacked him. I don't know. Hmm. And then I did, I did find some power in there. I mean, I couldn't have unless you had done damage to me. That's very handy. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. Cool. Didn't I get stunned at some point in, in this game? He staggered. Oh, staggered, yeah. Okay. That's crazy. He won't get an activation this turn, and the next turn he'll only get one action. Yeah. Yeah, there's some good stuff happening here. Okay, are we there? Are we done? Everybody done? I am done, because I'm dazed. <laughs> All right, let's score victory points from Crisis cards. Um, I've got my three up. Oh, yep, nobody's one, two, three. Oh, wait, and Spider-Man drops that wherever you want him to. Oh, within two? Uh, there. That's within two, right? Put it on my side of the board. OK, so I've got three, four. Yep. For that control, so I'll get four. One, two, three, four. I'm about to max out this track, bro. And I've got one. Do I win at 16? Nope. How do we not out? No. But what if I do? <laughs> Hold on, I'll This read. chat will tell us. Resolve player effects that occur during the cleanup phase. Any of those that matter nope. during cleanup? Any effects from crisis cards don't matter. It's the power phase, it looks like. Character with a Daze token, remove all damage tokens, special conditions, and their Daze token. And they stand right back up. Yeah. You can stand Spidey if you'd like. If a player who activated the last character has the priority, it passes. Nope. Um, remove all activated tokens from characters. Check marks are gone. One, two. Get these boys out of here. And then we move the round token to the next round on the mission tracker, and then we proceed to the power phase. I think you're actually on the fourth round. Are we on the fourth? Yeah, because the first, second, third, yeah, that was the end of the third round. Okay, I believe that. 
second, third. Yeah, that seems right. And then uh, each per character gains one power, as is customary. Brendan asking if Crossbones can spend energy and not take a damage from the cube. He yes, can. Yes, can and he will. Uh, then we resolve any player effects, of which there are none. And then we resolve crisis card effects, which is take one from the cube. I'll prevent one. You're a beautiful man, Crossbones. Ultron will take one and immediately become dazed. I'm going to leave him standing and put that token in there. That is awesomely bad. Yeah. I mean, you can put that anywhere within two. Hmm. Okay. Ultron dazed. I'm just going to cover him up. I don't want to think that I can use him. Bing. I got I to gotta get him down, too, before you get to eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm kind of on my way, aren't I? Now we go to the activation phase, starting with me as the uh, active player. So you've got injured, injured, and then a healthy cap. So I need to go try to try to run cap out of town here. Um, hmm. You know, <laughs> you know, it may just be a okay. <laughs> Let's start off with um, Baron Zemo. All right, we're gonna play. Trip up. Where an allied character targets an enemy character with an attack during its activation, and it's within two of another allied character. So these two, I presume, both of these would mm -hmm. be eligible. Um, if you're dealt damage, you take a stun and a stagger. Wow. So I need to figure out the best chance that I have of you taking damage. What is stun? Minus one action? It means you can't gain more than one power. Oh, nice. For any, for any yeah. reason. Um... Is Black Widow easier or hard? Oh, you've got energy for days. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not good. Um, Steel Rush, me advance medium. Okay, yeah. So let me do this. Let me do a Steel Rush. Okay. And that's going to cost me two power. I'm going to target Spider Man. I'm going to add the trip up card. And I'm going to hope for the best. And I've got uh, six die attack coming in here. Steel Rush. Here we go. Get bent, Spidey. Great. Uh, there's two. Oh. Three, what, two of which are crits. Garbage. There is a god. Garbage. All right, you're not tripped up at all. You I'll get to reroll this just so I can do it. And I'll roll two in. Doesn't explode. <laughs> Nothing. Just three. Any way I can like pump my, I, if I had power, I actually. It's very couldn't. well timed to good roll for me. It's great, great, great stuff. It's kind of like X-wing. It feel. I mean, obviously the dice. There's just big moments where you need good um, or bad things. To I happen. don't have a wild, so you're not bleeding, unfortunately, which is another uh, objective there. Then. Hmm. After the attack with Steel Rush, I get a medium activation. Whoop. And then let's let's keep getting out of town. Um, so I've got a long move, and I'm just going to put myself within one here, basically. I'm using my strategy moments. To make you come to me, and he's done. We tried to trip you up, it failed, and we got out of town. That's how this goes. It failed spectacularly. It was bad. Yeah. Okay, mine? I guess I should have gone with crossbones, huh? Yeah, go ahead. It's like, well, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting over here thinking, like, I guess I'm just gonna knock crossbones out. <clears throat> that's maybe that's okay. So here's what we'll do. <clears throat> You can also like pick up five fragments if you wanted to, after you knock him out. It's just power for fragments. You can have as many as you want. Yeah. That could actually turn the game over really nicely. Um, let's, is Captain Jabimbo gonna come in here? In a minute. He'll come when it's time. A sword, or a shield toss? Not yet. I'm gonna go Spidey. Uh, so the first thing Spider-Man's gonna do is use his web of bolt to throw crossbones into uh, Ultron. 
He's dazed. Who's dazed? Ultron. He doesn't so, exist. I'll throw him into the garbage can. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> All right, garbage can straight ahoy. There. And then I think I just straight up take one damage. That's the goal. I've got the soak, though. Well, let's make sure we're doing this right. Throwing a terrain doesn't make it, and throwing a character is the important piece. I'm almost certain you just take a damage here. I don't want to do things wrong, though, you know? Uh, oh, thanks. Telemarketer. Cool. Great. A thrown character caught to the train feature suffers one damage, and it's destroyed if uh, it's a smaller size than the thrown character, which it will not be. So do you want me here? Yep. And you take one? I'll try to prevent it. Oh, OK, cool. So I still have to hit you again. Or you can, yeah, I guess you could throw me again into the dumpster. I only get one of those around. Mm. Um, Crossbones is a nicely frustrating model. I like mm -hmm. that. I guess I don't need to tell you that. Uh, I'll spend... <laughs> hmm. There's a lot. It's not too much yet. There's a lot to, to think about. It's the right, it's like the it's perfect a good amount, miniatures yeah. game amount. So let's. If Crossbone stays alive, this will be epic. That's not what's going to happen here. <laughs> uh, let's do taser webs. Is that the energy one? Yeah. Yeah, that's his worst nightmare. <clears throat> so I've got two defense. I got six defense. I don't have my Baron rerolled. Oh, yeah. Four? Could get two crits. Ooh, there's one crit. But it won't matter. All right, so two. So I will take one damage and be dazed. I'll gain one power for taking one damage. And he down. OK, and I get to drop this fragment somewhere. Yep, within two. You can send Cap in there on a retrieval mission. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, all right. It's all you. Oh, you're done. Yeah, you can basically come after... Um, I'll do this because I like it. You can basically do uh, Z all Ahoy on Zemo, or you can just harvest points like it's not even close. So I'm going to go with uh, Black Widow. She's so gonna spend an energy to pick up a cube. And how many, within how many of a cube do you have to be to pick it up? One. Cool. And then she's going to, I'm just gonna, it's point city time. Yeah, I think so. We're gonna go downtown. Oh. Throwing the long ball. One, two. Okay. And then that's her. So then cap. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this, is, this is actually going to be a pretty wicked point swing. I'm going to spin energy, pick up a cube. Then my I'm going to move, basically, twice. Where's the medium? So here's what we're going to do. He's going to move here, and then I'm going to play uh, patch up. Beat up on, oh. I mean, I don't, cool. It's fine. What's that do? <clears throat> Choose a non dazed allied character. Another allied character within two of the chosen character may spend up to five to heal that much damage. So Cap's going to spend two, heal two. He can heal himself, huh? Well, it doesn't. It's, I choose Spider. It does, doesn't matter who's. Cool. So they can patch each other up, basically. Yeah. Uh, and then two of the chosen characters. Spin up to five. Yeah, yeah. See, so spin it. Yeah. And then his other move will be to move back here. Technically, so did you remove it from Cap or Spider-Man? Cap. I don't think he can heal himself with this. I mean, he's not playing it though, right? It's just I play this card on my oh, turn. Oh, I guess. So it's choose yeah. a non does does say active, character. Though? I think active means it has to be on that, that activation. Let's look. I know. I remember we did the active and reactive thing. I think active you might have to play. If that's the case, you can. I mean, it's all. Yeah, I would have done it before. Widow scrambled. 
Mm-mm. So yeah, it'll work either way, but let's cool. let's double check. On Crab a casket, yeah, this cards. is a pre-painted demo copy. Um, Team Tactic. Active. A player may play active team at any time during their turn. A player may play active team card, tactic cards at any time during their turn. So yeah, so I think, I think I the main thing is that I have to be able to spot a non days character within two of the character I'm healing. Yeah. Is what it's saying. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so yeah, that was what I did. All right, and then you just move back? Yep. Okay, cool. So then we go to the end phase, uh, score victory points. I get five. You get five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I get one from Zemo. And he takes a damage. And one here. So one, two. And that's that. <coughs> Everybody else is dazed. Then resolve player effects, resolve crisis. Characters with dazed remove. They're dazed and they stand up. Stand up. Stand and deliver. Okay. He'll be pointing at <laughs> you. I'm still. S oh, I, I get rid of the stagger. Remove all special conditions. That's relevant. So r remember the stagger. So oh, remove hold on. All special conditions. So he's saying the character that spends the energy is not the one who removes damage. Mm -hmm. So I think what should have happened is I should have healed for. F Three with Black Widow. Yeah, yeah, that worked. And then, and then yeah. instead of Cap losing the energy, he still has it. So you basically take the Cap turn when Black Widow's there, yeah. do the healing, and then Black Widow takes the turn. Yeah, because I didn't have any action. Or play it when it's Widow's turn. Between all of yeah. that. All right, good. And then move around to the next round on the mission tracker. James asking, yeah, all the terrain on the table is from the core box. The mat is from a different game. So, sorry. Okay, so do we play to six rounds? So this, the next round is the last round, right? Like when the token would go off the board is when we are okay. done. And then resolve any player effects, et cetera, and then I will resolve, take a damage for the cube. I want to do the same. And, then and we, we get energy from that, right? Yes. Yeah, that provides you an energy. And they each get one. And, and then everybody gets one, yeah. That's very relevant. One, one, one. You, Ultron's on six. And the problem is, if I punch him, he's going to gain enough energy to yeah. not just die. So that's it. I mean, that's cool. You, he should you, be on his other side, right? Yeah. He'll be essentially resurrected. And Zemo's the same? Yeah. Uh, crossbones. Is totally the guy I get them confused so. a lot. They're pretty, I mean, they're just beat them up kind of folks. Uh, and it looks like this card is pretty much, I think it's the exact same, a little bit worse. Five health. Um, everything else is more or less the same. Okay, so we've got this turn and the next turn. And he's, does he still have the staggered? No, you remove all special conditions, mm. which is a worked in my benefit. For certain. Okay, what's Black Widow at over there? She's got one health. She has one damage. She has three health left. One but damage. You have to also be within, in that little zone. Yeah, I got to be, be in the zone. I got an energy blast with uh, Ultron. Put me in the zone. But if I spend, if I spend energy, I can't resurrect, which also is kind of a bummer. I'm waiting for you. Spider-Man, what are you at? He's full. All right, so I think it's time to uh, to do some do some business here. Um, this is not at all how you should handle Spider-Man, but we're just going to do it. I'm going to start with um, Crossbones. I think I'm going to start with Crossbones. Okay. So, are you injured? Spider-Man's injured. Yep. Do you have any reaction abilities to this thing? Nope. I just have Spidey Sense, so I can reroll two defense dice. And then Black Widow's got three, and she's also injured. Okay. And then Zemo on the two as well. So let's let's start here. There's some action happening here. If I want... Ding. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. My first action. Then I'm going to pay two for an overpower. It's a five dice attack. Yikes. Coming at you. Crit, wild, hit, and wild. Three. That's four. 
two Ooh. defenses, and I get to reroll this one in a second. All right, here comes the crit resolution for nothing. And so two. So yeah, you'll take two. After this attack is resolved, um, oh wait, before damage is dealt, I can throw you a small. How about into that lamppost? Or into, no, not into Ultron. How about into that lamppost? I've got a three in like a straight line. Do you think I can clip that building with Spider-Man without hitting the lamppost first? Straight away from you? Mm-hmm. I do not. No way, right? No way. OK. So you'll take a lamppost, Spidey. All right, so what happens there? This goes away? We'll do the. Because it's smaller than me? Are you a, a two or a one? A two. And it's a one? Yep. All right, cool. It's gone. And then you'll take three, four, it's two, so two damage. And then you'll take the throw damage, which we can resolve now. How does that work? I think you just take one for okay. running into a piece of terrain. All right, he's getting close. Yeah. Okay, and then after the attack is resolved, I place the character within one of the target. So that's really cool. I understand. You can that. like throw him and he can throw go to him it. Throw him and then you're still on top of him, yeah. Um I don't have any power for that picking up that energy. So I guess <laughs> we're done. All right. I can move within one. I guess I'll like uh, shimmy. <laughs> and that'll check mark me. All right, it's Spidey time. I'm trying to annoy you until you leave. This is going to be the interesting battle over here, Zemo and Black Widow. I have a feeling it's going to be a nice little part of the story, as they say. I only need a, I, one damage, and I'm hosed. On Zemo? Yeah, I'm dazed with one. Yeah, but... I don't want to lose Spider-Man, so that's a thing. Three, four, five. I guess Spider-Man could come get Zemo. Throw it medium. Okay. And there's that, so six, seven, eight. Huh. Fascinating. All right, let's come get Zemo. Okay. I'm going to play... You got a tactic card? I'm going to wait on that. Okay, I don't need to do Whew. it yet. Baron does have the counter strike. Keep that in mind. What's the range? Uh, range two. So be outside of range two is what you're saying. Spider Man's going to move. Uh, range three. Range three. I misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> Finding the zone, huh? You got a four range attack? Yeah. Eek. His uh, impact webbing. So then I'm going to. Uh, I think I heard you. I think you get a point for knocking out things. Well, when they're totally knocked out. Is that true? Do you like remember that? It's, it's some amount of points when you actually defeat someone. Yeah, it's like a it's a lame amount of points, which is a good sign. Oh, dude! A player immediately wins when they score 16 or more victory points. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> it's not Unless over we yet. we can both score at the same time. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This got a lot worse for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can he do it? <laughs> How would that even... I mean, I'm about to score. I'm, I'm okay. I just need to knock Zemo out. And then you only get Ultra and I have two actions to basically score points. Mm-hmm. So, let's do this. I'm going to, first thing, um, is impact webbing. That's my attack with Spider-Man. Uh, so we're doing physical on Zemo, range four. Here comes, here comes the sun. Yeah. You have what, one health left? Physical on Zemo, and after an attack, I can Actually, kind of strike. If I don't die, I guess. Oof. Um, you're not within two of me, are you? So I can't master swordsman you. Mm -mm. Dang. You're the per you're the perfect person to take on Baron Zemo. How does he ever stand a chance in the comics? It's ridiculous. I'm gonna I'm gonna back this up actually. Hmm. I think I'm still gonna come get it. I just need to see this. 
How's the healthy saying? If I throw Zemo into that card, do you just take a damage? Yes. Great. <laughs> Remove it from the battlefield. I don't see anything about gaining points for knocking people out. It's got, I, I almost, I remember reading that. I feel like though. I remember that somewhere. I remember we'll come back that. to that in a second. I, I don't think I'm going to, because I would have to like beat Crossbones to death. Well, right I'm here. saying if I were to kill one of your characters like Spider Man, would that I give would you a point? Immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what am I talking about? <laughs> um, all right, so Spider Man is going to, and actually before I move, I'm going to interact with that and heal one. That's wise. Then I'm going to move. Then I'm going to use a power for two, the Web of Pult. I'm going to throw Zemo into that car. That seems easy. Uh, that's all it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> this one? Uh, let's throw it into this one. Let's get you away from that objective. So then the car goes away. Uh, it's the same size, I imagine. Oh, I nice. Imagine bigger than but you get knocked out. Uh, you put that wherever you want. I'm just going to leave him face up on the hood of that one. Let's put it right here. One power. Do you, I don't see that. If anybody on the chat knows of victory points from being defeated, give me a shout, because that might be very relevant here. Let's put it right there. Okay. Convenient. There. Uh, so Spider-Man still has a second action. So it was a move and then a superpower that didn't require That's action. That's right. Mm -hmm. got another action. Cool. This could actually turn. This mm -hmm. could turn over for sure. I need to not die. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. And all I need to do really is grab a thing and hold it with Ultron. Then Spider's going to move to right there. Yep. Done? Okay. All right. So now you're saying it's my turn, huh? Yep. So the question, I guess, would be, can you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points? You're holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, easily. You can easily do that. Someone said no victory points if you knock out models, but if you, you win, if you get rid of the whole team, obviously. That's amazing. Okay. Hmm. Got ourselves in a bit of a pickle here. Who's holding things? Black Widow and Captain America. Those are good things to be holding. <laughs> okay. Yep, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've only got that medium move. Dang. Range is four on that and three. Let me just get a feel for where. Spidey is. He's well in cover. Hmm. I could try for a big boy on Captain America and then pick up his dropped thing. You'd still go one, two, three, four, five. Five. So five. So you would need like one more. One, two, three, four, five. You need two more. I need Cap holding it down. But if I knocked Cap out and you didn't knock Ultron out, that would technically do it. I mean, I, there's, if you knock Cap out, I can't knock Ultron out. I yeah. can't even knock Ultron out, even if Cap's around. So we just need to see if Ultron can, can make it happen. I mean, it's basically like, can Ultron go mess up Captain America or not? That is what, we, what it's come down to. Which is that. a great story. Like, yeah. this is just amazing. Yeah. He's like, strapping the shield on, let's go do this. All right, well, um, do you have anything that matters, uh, me being a certain range in terms of your ability to block mm -mm. those kinds of things? Nope. I can just pay two for plus two dice. Now, I could also try to knock out Black Widow. Remember, you have to be within three. Mm-hmm. I could try to knock out Black Widow. Let me see if this matters. Two allied characters, dang. Why is it always this teamwork stuff? <laughs> it ruins all my best plans. There's no way. Okay, here's what we do then. Let's go roll captain. 
And I can be as close to you as I want. It doesn't. There's no weird things. That if you're gonna come over here, you should probably contest this point. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Um, so let's do a medium, assuming that it doesn't. Although, because Ultron's not healthy, does Cap count more than him? Yes, he does. Yeah, for contesting. So I guess it really doesn't. Same thing with crossbones. So maybe I just don't waste a move and I get two attacks. Yeah, that's exactly that's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so how about this? Get ready for this tasty number. Because technically, if you can knock him out, the better move would be move to that get that thing. That's true. Yeah, very true. Okay, how about, let's start with Analyze and Annihilate. That sounds fun. Next one, your crits will count for me. What? That's a, sort of terrifying. And then we'll do three for Metallic Fury, targeting uh, Captain America. Before choosing a target, this character may choose whether it's a physical or energy attack. Do you have, does your thing only trigger on physical or energy, your shield thing? Nope. Either one. Your shield can block energy? Yeah, of course it can. Is it vibranium? Have you seen it? Like, yeah, it is vibranium. That's exactly what it's made of. What's that thing called? Bodyguard shield? Vibranium, vibranium shield. shield. Oh, That's it's both. In the title. You just can't block the psionics. Yeah. Dang. All right, well. Vision's going to come out and wreck all of us. Then it's going to be energy, because that's what I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice. I'll pay two for plus two dice and hope I don't get crits. <laughs> it's still kind of a zero sum. Oh, my gosh. Swooshed it. One. No rerolls? <laughs> no. Although, you know what would be really funny here? I'm going to take your blanks. <laughs> Is if I roll like five crits and I give you the crits. All blanks. And then I roll into nothing but dads. One block. Okay. Um, let me make sure no there's crits. nothing fancy there. Nothing fancy. So I'd okay. take nothing. You take nothing. Now you get a second attack. Seven dice, not as strong as I thought. Now, the other thing you can do... Well, they're all blank. It's not great. Is just take that other cube. Yeah. To score as many points as you can and try to well, outscore me. So let's see what happens when there is a tie. It, you go to the next round. The first person to score a point wins. Is that true? I believe so. Did you read that? Did chat tell you that? No, I was. Remember, I read a long time ago and had the notes that I made. No. no. You, Winning the game. If neither, okay. Uh, if both players score sixteen or more simultaneously, the player with more victory points wins. Yep. No, oh, I guess I could have just done that then. You couldn't have scored yet. Uh, That's why you're trying to knock me out. Well, there's a there's a moment here where I just come here and grab these two. I just do a move, move, grab, grab, both these cubes. That's probably my best chance of actually getting victory points. If I were a betting man. So let's just roll over here and um, grab this. Ding! All right. And I think, I mean, I think there's a world where you just can win, right? Because you have one, two points coming. You're going to be at 17. Yeah, now if you just walk cap over here, I've got zero points from this. So then I'm only getting one point, and you're getting one, two, three, four, five. Assuming she has energy, right? Mm -hmm. Six, seven. You're, I think you're, it's close. It's really close. I would go to 16, and you would go to one, 16. two, three, four, five, six. You go to 16? Yeah. Feels like that? Well, then what happens? There we go the next round. No way. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let's do it. I just need to make sure that's my actual that's play. That's what you want to do. Because that does not make Black Widow long for this world. Or you could try to knock it out of uh, Ultron. Pinata him. Do five damage? <laughs> you could try. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do five. You could do five. Unless you roll like that last attack that I had. Which, now you owe me, so I think your, your first one's going to be total nothing. Hmm. Where is this thing? Winning the game. Uh, at which point they immediately... If neither player is won by the end of round six, the player with the most victory points is the winner. If both players are tied at this point, the game continues until a player scores victory points and has more than their opponent. So we could potentially go forever until somebody has... Victory points. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. If only one player has characters on the battlefield, they immediately win. That's yeah. kind of easy to believe. <laughs> so, all right, well, my oh, turn. So if I can test <laughs> that, turn. you only gain one. Yeah. Yeah. If you can test it and knock it out of Ultron, I gain zero and you win. So I would gain one, two, three, 
people. Uh, so. hmm. It's pretty cool that it's this close. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign. Good sign, good sign. I just don't think I can knock. That's not true. I could maybe knock Ultron out. It's going to take some finagling. You can always try. I mean, what's your better move, I guess, is the question. You're going to get one either way. So you may as well make a swing, right? Yeah. Let me check out this. Where's the king? Yeah, I can get there. So if I medium and then punch. Personally, I'm for uh, Team Ultron. Really? Yeah. I think I put in the work. <laughs> what what are you considering? I'm curious. So, I have this Avengers Assemble card. Oh, Avengers Jabimbo. Any number of allied Avenger characters may spend one to play this card. Characters that spent one advance a short. So you could save a, a movement. So you get two attacks, potentially? Is that what you're yeah. thinking? Yeah. Well, it also would let me move her so that I can just collect both of those move back and still have like an attack or something with her. Yeah, what are you gonna attack, the dumpster? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a... Can she, she can't be here and still swing at Ultron, mm -hmm. is the thing, so. Uh, can Cap throw, throw Ultron? No, That would He's be too sick big. if you could throw it into big. like the dumpster and then Well, I have, my shield smash could, could throw you small, but it, it says size two or less, so mm, Ultron's too big. Ultron's too big. Mm -hmm. I get it. I like that. But I could Avengers Assemble with Cap to get him here so that I don't have to move yeah. in order to... Yeah, you could take two... Take I mean, two that's the best thing to do for sure, right? Unless okay. you save it for next round. Avengers Assemble. Black Widow is going to move... I have to be within range one. Is there even a pocket of the universe that is that car is going to make this miserable? Okay, yeah. So they're yeah, both yeah, range I, one. I believe that. Just so I'm just going to put it there. And we'll come back. Put it there. Second. Put it there. An old cap attack is going to. That's a small. I like these uh, templates. Yeah. The the movement on them is really nice. Are they the same as Legion? They feel a little different. Uh, they're More slightly better. different, I think. More better. All right. What's the best way? I'm immune to bleed and poison. That's fine. I'm just going to punch you for five. All right. Avengers Assemble. And it's physical? Yeah. All right. So four coming in. One. That's not what you needed. One block. On a crit. That crit. Okay. Three blocks. So then, oh, I have this ability. Uh, whenever Ultron is attacked, your opponent loses two victory points. <laughs> Do you not see that? That would be extremely <laughs> good for you. Um, well, I needed another energy there, dude, to do my shield slam. Mm, yeah, you needed to hit that. I've mm -hmm. seen that many times. I, I think from now on, I will never count on gaining energy from a strike. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's not a, not a thing it just doesn't do. work. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so we'll try it again. Yeah. We'll strike on uh, Ultron. That's that better. was better. Oh my gosh. Hey, this could be it. This could be it. it was you could do it. Two crits and three so hits. So you got two more dice coming in, uh -huh. and if I don't roll any defense... All right, two? so I got two and crits crit? as well. So here's, here's some making money moves here. Oh, no. nothing. Two. One crit becomes nothing. So two mi five minus two, I'll take three and gain three power. And I gain three Ooh, power. Ooh, baby, that was close. <sighs> okay. Wow. How much you got left? I have two uh, left, and I'm about to take one and get wrecked. Oh, I could at least kill you. I mean, how many attacks you get every turn? Because that was easily two. <laughs> well, yeah, he's he's done. <laughs> but you think Black Widow could do it? She could come over. But then she's not getting this point. Unless, she, no, she's not getting that point. Unless she could get all the way here. Could she get to this one? She has a... No. Could she get here? Is all we need. Maybe. 
she could go here. Yeah, she can totally get there. After but she can does, she attack afterwards? After she does her attack, if if I get a wild, she can move to. Oh my gosh. Are you going to put it all on the line like that? You I feel know like how you definitely I roll. should. You know how I roll. <laughs> all right, so let me make sure this all. You'll have zero power because you got to pick up the. I can't. Can't do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But you would kill Ultron and lose the game. No, you wouldn't lose. Because I'm not going to pick up any points if you kill Ultron. I'll pick up zero points. Oh, hello there. We have a plan. That's fascinating. So then we go to the next round, and it would be a haymaker of a round. <laughs> it would be awesome, is what it would be. Oh, man. I think you got to go for it, right? <laughs> I think so. I think it's better for me. <laughs> All right, let's 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 have Widow hop up here. <laughs> the thing is, if I don't win this round, I don't think I win. Okay. Because you're going to go first, and Spider-Man's almost dead. Widow's going to, if I picked up two cubes, she's going to be one away from dead. That's true, yeah, the cubes. You get, so, like, can't sleep on the cubes. My long-term game here is not great, exactly. I love Crossbone's injured side, by the <clears> way, <throat> where he's just smoking. Just angry. <laughs> so technically, because I'm going to end up doing the attack that doesn't take any energy. So if I pick those two up, yeah, and kill Ultron, yeah, then you I win. Do I win? You win. One, two, three. Oh no, you're not controlling. Four, the one five, thing. six, seven. So I would still get seven. You would, yeah. So does I'll, that win though? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would win. I'll pick them both up. Oh my we'll gosh, this is a beautiful gambit. Yeah. The uh, odds of meter are probably not as happy about it, but. I mean, I have four dice against your four dice. And <laughs> what I, could go wrong? And I need, to, I need to do how much damage? <laughs> it, it leans towards damage. <laughs> two. I don't think that's true, is it? There's only one shield. Oh, and there's two attacks. You're right. That's, that's a lean. Yeah, see? Yikes. I know my math. Uh, Yikes. Okay. Well, I needed a two, you say? Yeah. Yeah. Let's dance in the pale moonlight. <laughs> so, yeah, show me what you got. Let's see if you can even put it on the board before I'm worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is great. She hops on the dumpster. The moment Cap is about to get, you know, wrecked, potentially makes the shot that ends it all. All oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Three hits and a crit. Nothing but Three hits, hits. and a crit. <laughs> How? That's the Avengers absurd. are assembling. That's why it's not playing next thing. <laughs> How fun is that, though? That's great. For me. <laughs> no, it's very, it's, it's actually incredibly cinematic. Yeah. I'm actually hopeful. Either uh, direction this goes. Ready? Mm. A crit block. and a block. It all comes so, down to these crit rolls. The crit it? rolls can literally shift the tide because if you get a hit and I miss, you don't die. I'm going to go ahead and do mine. Ready? If you get a blank, none of it matters. Why? Well, actually, that's not true. If you get a blank and I get a blank, the cube will kill me. The cube's at the first of the, the rest round. Of the first of the next round. But right now I'm doing two, right? Oh, you're right. You're right. So you're killing me right now. We both have. <laughs> and so if you nail that crit, then it's over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Dead. Pop that cube out, would you? All right, let's let's do a final tally. So you could, you could technically, you do damage to Black Widow's ability too, don't you? And then you get uh, money back for it. Oh, so you could pick yeah. up the, the so pinata. I, I get the thing. I'll pick up the pinata. Dang. Black Widow for the win. And then promptly dies next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Super death. <laughs> like covered in energy. So wow, that was awesome. At the end of the round, it's I'd score one. Two, six, seven. Right? Yeah, because luckily you could pick that one up. I don't think you would have got it otherwise. Four, five. So you've got five fragments. Six for control yep. here because you're healthy versus my injured. Seven for control there. So I only win because so I'm able to take the So the pinata moment actually won you the game. That is my fantastic. Goodness. But see, the, this is 
That's what I love about. But Baron's coming in next turn. Look at him. He's <laughs> ready. He's ready. He's like, wait a minute. Why am uh, I on this car? Like, <laughs> this, is, this is exactly how I want to play this game, which is like, it's, I'm willing to take the Hail Mary there. Yeah, yeah. Just because it's like it. insane and epic. Who ever watched a Marvel movie where they were just sitting around like communicators or like cornering up to like survive? Hey, I got these fragments. You guys want to go run? Check yeah. these out. <laughs> Check these wow, out. Wow, that was amazing. How long was that? Like a couple hours? Three? <sighs> two? Three? It was a little over two. A little under three? Over no, we, two? we stopped. We didn't start this till 12.45. Who's got questions? All right, you got questions. Man, that was Now's the time. Else. I don't even know what we're doing after These this. These games are crazy, man. These games like this, they, they, make you, they make you go insane. There is no reality. It's like you get so sucked in. There is no time goes away. General understanding of what's happening goes away. Like the outside world goes away. It was entirely. gone. That, and that did not feel like however many hours we've been playing this. I think I would, I would do that on a, on a consistent basis. Like I would want to do that maybe, yeah, once a week. <laughs> <laughs> like one every game, Monday? One game once a week. I mean, I think it, it's the perfect, like, I just want to sit back and enjoy this game, right? Grab a beer or something, and then, like, I, I really hope that they, and they've said they're going to, but, like, the what you can do campaign-wise, story-wise, where it's, mm. like, you just slowly unfold the story across, like, ten weeks of playing this game. I like that a lot. And when we're on a, a bigger board, also, it would definitely change the dynamic here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just being able to, like, run. Yeah. Run! The, that's where like Baron and the, the long movement people become a lot more strategic because they're just like objectives. Yeah, because we we all always felt within reach of each other, mm -hmm. and like the decision to move someone like Blackwood over here didn't mean she was like out of the fight. Right. It was just kind of like right, right, right. She's off doing this thing, but can still get. And back I do, in it. I do like that. Like for this exact format, I do like that exactly. Wow. Man, you just kind of got to cool off after a game like yep. that, don't you? I I agree. How do people play? How do you guys play tournaments of this, of miniatures games? Like X Wing's got to be the same way. You do like seven, eight, nine games in a day. It's, it's exhausting. Yeah. That, I would never do that. Yeah, it only takes a few of those before you really decide if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> your first turn. Well, no. Well, well no, like that's yours. you know, a lot like a lot of times the bigger events too. You'll play three or four rounds, and then if you don't do well, you're out. But then like if you ever make it all the way to, like the cut. Where it's like you have seven or eight rounds, and the next day it's seven or eight more rounds. Yeah. It's like. That's why I, I think. And, and Atomic Mass had said they're not really focusing heavily on the tournament scene here. They're focusing on the campaign narrative scene, right? The local I've hobby seen, element. I've yeah. seen a lot of people say that. I would love to see somebody actually do it. Yeah. Like actually well, do it. So the, the, I haven't been following it super in, intensely, but they've been talking about doing uh, multiplayer 2v1, 3v1, and campaign. Nice. stuff that, like like, that's that. all coming down the pipe where it's like you can imagine bringing two or three characters and have four people around a table mm -hmm. but there's also like a story element happening yep awesome uh, any questions that we need to uh, take note of what kind of OP would you want to see out of this from well, Christopher yeah that's a really good question um, so like I said people have talked about this before um, I've heard it we've heard it at Gamma for years we've heard it from various publishers over the years about yeah we're going to change the paradigm on this I don't think anybody has ever really succeeded at that. Either the game is tanked or like they just, the tournaments are the easy way out because everybody knows what tournaments are and they run them like that. Um, I think ultimately organized play, you know what it would be? The, the organized play document would be like a comic book and it would show up to a store or a, or a person and then it would have like the four or five pages of a campaign that you play through. And I, the thing that I would really like the most, I get this from Arkham, is being able to uh, morph your superheroes. Mm, so, like, mm -hmm. if after every game, you know, even if I won or lost, I can, like, add one to a stat or a, de a defense, or I can pick up, like, they start the next game with an energy. Like, if I can pick up things that make me feel like I'm invested more in my team, sure. I think that is one of the most important things you could do. Well, you could imagine, like, <clears throat> the I have a cool alt art card that has, like, a plus one defense on it. Mm -hmm. And it's like you put it on your character. Yeah. Or like a, yeah. some little ability, right? Like you could add attacks, you could add abilities and weapons mm -hmm. and that kind of a thing. You could have like <clears throat> Zemo's sword or whatever and it does something cool. It's like minus two, the first counter strike you do every game. Like that, that kind of stuff. I, I think there's a lot of potential for how you can make this a really engaging, casual format. Yeah. Um, which would be awesome. Like if we could all just get together, feel no pressure and just act like we're literally playing it's like champions marvel champions the same yeah. way all these different ways that we can just tell stories in the marvel universe um without the element of like 
feeling like we need to compete to get that hit uh, would be great. And I think tournaments will be fine too. People, that's going to happen anyway. Yeah, it'll happen. You know, anyone people can find ways without anyone else's help to get together, put a Swiss bracket, and see who's the best player. Like that doesn't need any, any <laughs> necessarily that arm support, but. Uh, doing some like thematics campaign stuff would be awesome. Yeah, I think the thematic campaign. I, I really like what um, FFG's done with like the uh, Arkham stuff, mm -hmm. which is like giving a reason for the twelve people that show up to play this game together on a Saturday, for those people showing up on the same day and time at the same place to matter. Yeah, um, I don't know what that looks like, but like just little alt art cards or <clears throat> you know these art well, assets you've got them, so you may as well just. I'm just saying, even like with Arkham, it's like they had scenarios that twelve people can play. Oh, that's cool. too. Or they have yeah. like it's basically like every camp. Every this game is built for that. That's what I'm saying. It's like just an all out. And this game in X Wing, there's the format where you you bring one ship, mm -hmm. so like you can bring a hero. Mm -hmm. So you're that hero that day, and it's like you're on a team with four other people mm -hmm. versus four other people. I love the idea of controlling just one hero. That's really cool, right? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> It's yeah, cool. we should definitely do that. Yeah, and like, but that at that point, even like two on two or three on three, three on three, right? Everyone has one hero, and each team has the same number of points, right? Let's say twelve points. Then, like, all of a sudden, it's you know your Spider Man, mm -hmm. and like, what's your role in the team? And like, you you're just hanging out playing. I love that. Um, so here's what we should do, Zach. Let's um, let's swap in the three heroes or the two and two that we haven't used and play a quick game. What do you think? Okay. Do you want to go ahead and, so we can at least see all the Corset heroes? I think that'd and how be great. Play? Yeah, so we'll cut this stream. We'll come back for another game in a minute. We might do three on three so that one player can take Hulk and the other one can, you know, swap in. Just keep one of the ones that we've already seen. Sure. Cool. Awesome. Let's all right. It. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, cut the stream here real quick, and then we will be right back with the final uh, three on three of the day. If you have any questions, uh, save them, and we'll answer them when we get in uh, next stream. We'll see you there.